Hello, everybody, and welcome to Drawn and Quartered Fan Edition. Of course, this is your host, uh, Chester C. Busby III, and I am very happy to have you guys all here with us. Um, we're going to be doing some really cool art today. We are doing White Walkers from the Game of Thrones series. Uh, great series, lots of fun, and uh, uh, of course, whether you read the book or you watch the show, either way, uh, the White Walkers are a very cool and integral part of the story. So uh, we're going to be having a lot of fun with that. And it's interesting for us, too, because we've been doing the Sexy Ladies recently, and uh, which are always great. Everyone appreciates the sexy ladies, uh, but going to something that's more visceral, more horrific, I think is going to be a lot of fun today. Uh, looking looking forward to it, absolutely. And uh, yesterday, the Pro Edition, we were doing Game of Thrones stuff to, too, but they, they were doing like Daenerys or something, right? Any of you guys uh, see the Pro Edition yesterday? I was working. I didn't get to see it. No, unfortunately, I missed it yesterday. Uh, yeah, it was Daenerys. Yeah, I believe that's correct. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um and uh, but, but nevertheless, uh, uh, we're going to have our own fun with Game of Thrones over here. As you guys know, we tend not to want to follow the Pro Edition directly because, you know, <laughs> we're rebellious and all that. Uh, but uh, in actuality, we think it's uh, better not to have uh, the same art going on two days in a row, right? Let's uh, have some di diversity. That's a popular word these days, you know, diversity. People like it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but uh, we're definitely going to be doing that. It's going to be really cool. We'll wait to see that art. Now, of course, we start about 10 minutes or so after the hour, and uh, we will not do the same today. Uh, we do have a few other artists who are going to be coming in here very soon. But, you, you know, as I've said before, artist <laughs> flaky. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? We're always on time. Yeah, right. Uh, but uh, you guys were, so I appreciate it. But uh, that's all right. Now, I could have done like Mike and uh, uh, started getting artists to come in and let literally a minute before the show and then uh, be 30 minutes late because it took me that long to get people in. But hey, I don't do that. I'm on time, baby. I am thorough and punctual. Actually, actually, my uh, I went up for uh, like uh, one of those kind of annual type health checks the uh, uh, yesterday. You know, I, I don't know. You know, when you get a certain age, you should go in once a year and get a health check, right? And uh, so I went in, and uh, and uh, the the doctor who's always trying to speak English to me, right? He's like, uh, "You are a punctual," and I was like, yeah. <laughs> "Thank you." <laughs> uh, but anyway, while we wait for a few other people to come in here, uh, tell me, uh, guys, uh, anyone have any opinions on the Game of Thrones or more particularly the White Walkers themselves? Anybody? Uh, I've, I've, I've kind of fallen off after uh, watching it for, for a while. Just mm -hmm. uh, Yeah, unfortunately, I just was not able to catch up with so many other things going on. But on the plus side, I get to come back and watch it all again. So. Yeah, that is cool. Um, and uh, I think I've seen up to season five. What, what season are we in now? Oh, what is this? Eight? This is the final one? So six, maybe six then. I must have seen up to six. I know the last season I haven't seen yet. Uh, but um, i seen the other ones. It's pretty good. Uh, I think it's the, the, the early seasons were better than the later seasons, which usually isn't the truth when it comes to uh, 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 you know various series, but uh, in this case, I think it is. But um, I think the only real problem <clears throat> with Game of Thrones, and uh, I know I'm going to get many st stones thrown at me, but uh, there's actually too much nudity. I know, I apologize, but I, <laughs> it just is. Because it's kind of like Spartacus, right? That's, that was a fun little series. They were kind of playing on the 300 movie that came out, right? But it was just way too much nudity and sex stuff. It's too much. It, it, it's you're you're losing the subtlety of it, right? You're using you're losing the impact of it. Like with Game of Thrones, if you ever the, read the books, you know that there is literally one, maybe two sex scenes that are, are integral to the actual story. They must be there. Right. But everything else is just gratuitous. Uh, and I think it hurts it a little bit because it, it narrows your audience. Right uh, now. And, and, and I think it's unfortunate. But, um, you know, like I said, I'm sure you all disagree with me 100 percent. Hey, Kat. Hey, how are you? I am Hello. awesome. We are doing white workers today. Oh, are you ready? I didn't even know that. No. All right. <laughs> White walkers. Now, keep in I, mind that uh, white walkers are can be any gender you like. So, therefore, uh, we could have a female white walker. That might be interesting. Cool. That's what I will do. Awesome. Awesome. Now, have you seen Game of Thrones, Kat? Uh, I'm really far behind. I've seen maybe up to, like, season five or six. I can't remember yeah. how many are out. You're about the same as me, I think. Um I enjoyed it though. Uh, the last thing I saw was Jon Snow getting murdered by a bunch of uh, yes. crows. Yes. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> spoilers, spoilers. 
spoilers. <laughs> well, we're way past that. He's already back and everything. Oh, no, more spoilers. Uh, but, <laughs> he even had a baby. No. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> no. I'm just, I'm just messing with you. I'm just making stuff up. Well, I thought I saw in some trailer, he seems to be got, he's got something going uh, in a little bit of the bomb, check a bomb, bomb action going on with the Daenerys, right? Yeah, it seems to be the most uh, recent adventures that he's having. Yeah, I don't know how that works. He's a dead guy. Watch out. Uh, but uh, actually, for me, uh, I, I mean, I, I think the actors in, involved in the Game of Thrones are really amazing. I mean, for me, the, the shining point, I think, for the world itself was uh, Peter Dinklage. I mean, that really introduced us to him, and that dude is killer. Uh, but um, uh, <clears throat> actually, in my opinion, the weak spot in Game of Thrones is whoever that actress that plays Daenerys. She is not good. She's not interesting. She has no X factor. She's not a great actress. She's the weak point, and it's really unfortunate because now I, it seems like the story is focusing more and more and more on her, right? Well, hopefully they can kind of pull it around in the end and be like, hey, it, it was worth all of it because she's going to be really you know, awesome in the end, hopefully. <laughs> well, hopefully they just take time work with her. She's just not as skilled as the other people around here. I mean, because there are some serious level actors in that, in that series, right? Uh, like oh, the lady great. who plays the, um, uh, the, plays the Targaryen um, queen there. Um, What's her name? Cersei. Cersei Lannister. No, not Targaryen, the Lannisters, sorry. Yeah, uh, she's but Cersei, good. she is an amazing actress. Really good job. Hey, Brad, I see you're in there. Would you like to come up here and uh, draw with us, Brad? We had him in here last week, and uh, we've had him in many times. Brad is an amazing artist. Would you like to come here and join us, dude? Yo, guys, good luck tonight. And uh, he's probably going to be yelling at me behind his breath, like, damn it, Chester. Sorry. Oh, there you go. Some nice references coming. Not tonight, brother. Hey, no problem, dude. Uh, vote cat, vote twice, vote often. Sweet. You're getting a little bit of jump <laughs> in. You know what's funny? Uh, yeah. <laughs> when, when, when I saw this in the group chat, I honestly thought this was just a uh, just plain live stream. I had no idea I was going on Drawing Quarter today. <laughs> oh, really? I oh, thought you were, funny. You're well, you do realize that Pixel signed you up, right? <laughs> That's fine. I haven't been on in a while. <laughs> yeah. um, and George, um, uh, um, yeah, I, 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 Pixel usually takes care of all that kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, George, I'm going to make you a participant right now. Come on to the Discord and grab the link out of the uh, uh, the green room, and you are welcome to come in here, sir, sir. Of course, we're always happy to have you, dude. Come on in. I just made you a participant, so you're good to go. Just uh, come in and jump, jump, get, grab that link out of the uh, green room. Uh, now, did you see John? Uh, John, no, sorry. John was having troubles. That's right. Uh, but um, would love, been, been nice to get a couple of the other uh, um, Tales from the uh, Beyond the Gate guys in here with us today. Um, uh, and, yeah, I got him, Brad. No problem. Uh, but... Um, uh, nevertheless, uh, we will be talking about uh, Tales from Beyond the Gate uh, throughout the show today because we're in our last five days. So we definitely want to push that up. And of course, that show is, um, excuse me, that book is uh, really an amazing endeavor. It's the first joint effort uh, throughout the uh, indie revival community. Uh, and uh, we have uh, 20 plus people involved in that project. That's uh, really, really awesome. It's 160 plus pages for 30 bucks. I mean, come on. Uh, killer art, a lot of which you've seen right here on the fan edition and the pro edition as well. And uh, we got some pros actually helping us out. Uh, of course, we have uh, uh, Mike Barron has done a really cool little story for us. It's fun. Uh, we also have uh, John Malin is doing some art for us and Ethan Van Skyver is doing some art for us as well. And of course, we also have John, uh, or excuse me, James Hudnell. Uh, involved in the project, and unfortunately, uh, as you, as we uh, uh, reported yesterday, um, you know James passed away, uh, and this is really uh, sad news. Uh, really nice guy, a big supporter of this community and all the things we're doing over here in comics in general. Uh, the guy had done so much writing in his life. He's a truly prolific, uh, um, you know, pro, uh, pro uh, involved with comic books and 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 beyond. He did a lot of movie stuff too, just like uh, our own Ryan Cardinal here has been doing some stuff as well. Uh, but um, uh, you know, uh, it's really sad news about James, and of course. Uh, uh, Godspeed is the best thing we can say, and uh, I'm not sure what we'll do with Tales from the uh, the uh, Gate project in regards to uh, James, but we'll certainly have a memorial in there. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, we'll be talking about that the next few days a lot. 
Uh, so uh, help us out by uh, going and checking that out on the page. I'm sure one of my uh, uh, moderators here will throw that link into the uh, chat so you can go check it out. And uh, even if you don't back it, uh, uh, we'd appreciate you at least hitting a share button and sending it out to your extended uh, community uh, so they know what's going on and we can uh, we can get this over the hump. We need to get that 10,000 so we can get it made. And uh, uh, we're close. So uh, help us push that over, please. Uh, but uh, we'll get into that more later. And of course, I do believe there's a few people here who have projects of their own, and we will be talking to them throughout the show for that as well. Uh, but uh, anyway, I'm about to start this thing off. So let me just come by real quick and introduce our artist to you. All right. Uh, so the first one we got here is we have the Ryan Cardinal coming back to us, the prodigal son. Hey, doing? <laughs> no, doing good, doing good. Uh, yeah, just finished uh, doing some project stuff, and uh, that's why I've been kind of MIA for the past couple months. Yeah, well, you've been busy with a with a Netflix thing, so uh, uh, that's uh, that's really cool, dude. And that project is uh, coming when? I uh, just got announced for release uh, for 2020, and that will be uh, the Hollow season two. Sweet. All right, dude. And I, I'm, I'm thinking I might have seen that show actually. It's an animated show, and. Uh, um, uh, what, what's the premise? It's, it's, uh, uh, tell us the premise of the hollow. Uh, well, season one, a bunch of kids wake up and they have no memory. And from there, it's them just discovering who they are and they slowly figure out like each of them has abilities and powers. I see. Um, yeah, maybe I haven't seen that. I got to go check it out. I'm going to go watch it. Uh, because, uh, you actually have some work in the season one as well, right? Uh, yeah, I did uh, revisions, storyboard revisions on season one, and uh, for mm -hmm. season two, I got back uh, doing full boards, which was oh, super fun. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah, uh, we've actually had a lot of people. Uh, now, of course, this is Jordan Gordon in particular, but uh, we've had a lot of people on our show, uh, Fanspeak, uh, who actually do quite a bit of uh, you know Hollywood storyboarding. Uh, there's a lot of artists that find find work in that uh, in that uh, uh, area, and uh, we've had people on that's uh, worked on some. Uh, uh, some big time uh, animation stuff. I mean, uh, like legend stuff uh, from the past as well, like uh, Dexter's Lab and things like that. And um, uh, so it's it's interesting that, uh, how much I learn about the uh, what artists do because it's not just comic books. There's a lot of opportunity out there. Uh, yeah. But yeah, but uh, happy to have you back, Ryan. And of course, oh, we you. have our most favorite and wonderful cat. And uh, just ignore all the horrible things she's going to say to people. She actually is a wonderful person. Hello, cat. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. <laughs> Happy to have you. Uh, now, uh, White Walkers, of course, you're a, a, a fan here of the uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, so uh, uh, I, I'm assuming we're going to get something very cool from you today. Oh, don't put the pressure on me. I'll try. Okay. I'll just go uh, throughout the show. I'll continue building the pressure. Uh, so, you know. <laughs> But anyway, Kat, very happy to have you here, uh, and uh, good luck to you. Uh, of course, guys, we're also joined by George Peter Gatsis, the creator of Joe King himself. We're doing White Walkers, dude. Good gosh. You know, I was preparing so many text messages. I was going to flood uh, the, 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 stream, uh, the stream with mm -hmm. uh, as many jokes as I can, and you had to invite me in here. Didn't you yes, get well. the joke? What am I, chop liver? That was a joke. I know it was a joke, dude, George, but we're always happy to have you in here. And besides, I control the mute button, so it's all good. Oh, geez, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, George, thanks. Good luck to you, man. <laughs> uh, we're also joined by a new face today, which we're always happy to have, guys. And uh, today we're introducing you to Garrett. Uh, so, Garrett, take a minute and tell us a little bit about you, man. Yeah, no problem. Um, I'm pretty new to this community. I just kind of got invited here by Dina. Do you guys know her? Yeah, of course we know Dina. She's our most favorite, uh, very angry China, uh, China lady. Right. Yeah, so she invited me uh, to, to come draw, so I said, absolutely. Awesome. Well, I'm glad to have you here, man. And uh, thank you very much, Dina, for sending artists our way. And keep in mind, guys, if you want to be part of the uh, Drone Recorded Fan Edition, all you have to do is go, go down below and you'll see two links to uh, Chester's uh, Facebook and Chester's Twitter. Uh, either one of those, you can contact me and tell me, say, Chester, I want to be on Drone Recorded. I want to be an artist. And uh, I will put you through that process and get you in here, dude. Uh, happy to have you. And uh, yeah, I do recall uh, uh, Dina talking to me yesterday and I gave her I gave her control, moderating control of Drone Recorded for sure amount of time and pixel still alive it's impressive um but uh <laughs> dina the terrible yeah uh, but happy to have you here garrett for sure and of course uh, our last artist we have in here for now i know there's a couple more coming they're just being you know typical uh but uh eric hawkins we have many erics but this is not the nino talski this is not the weathers this is the hawkins how you doing man good how you guys doing 
Now we're doing awesome, man. Uh, well, White Walkers, you get an idea in mind? Yeah, I'm going to draw like a, a mummified popsicle. <laughs> Sweet. There you go. That's about right. That's about right. And uh, Lorenzo Sleeslack is in the chat. He says, may I disavow Chester's China woman comment? No, dude. She's definitely a China woman. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag dish about. Come on now. Uh, the hate coming at me. This, this is what I get. This is what I deserve, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, guys, all right, we're going to head and go, go to start this out. And uh, the other artists who would jump in, they'll uh, they just have to deal with it. So uh, uh, the rules of the show are very simple. We go two hours and you can't use any color because we have people working digitally and traditionally. So it's not really fair. Right. Uh, but other than that, you do anything you want. Just remember, this is a, a PG 13 plus show. Uh, so we don't want to uh, go too far, but uh, you do have some freedom as far as what your art goes. Uh, and uh, other than that, um, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. All right. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. One, uh, get those pencils going uh, and the racers too, which seems pretty interesting. And Booster just came in. He's usually the one who kicks it off. But, uh, you know, Booster, he's a working boy now and he's a tired made little, it. little fella. You made yes, it. Sir, I made right? it. Do you have coffee in you or do you have a uh, bourbon? Which one? I have Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is my... Uh, this is my caffeine drink of choice. Yes, I at know. At the moment. Yeah. Well, nice to see you. I haven't seen you in a little bit a uh, while. Of course, we joke around with Booster a lot. And, uh, I haven't uh, seen but, you all. Uh, just, I miss you. Yes, I miss you too, dude. And no, no, uh, no. but uh, I am happy you got a job, and I'm happy you're working. That's all good, well and good. And uh, of course, we know you got a couple other things going on. You must be busy with as far as your actual life goes. Uh, so, how are things going mm-hmm. though? Are uh, things coming along? Well, my actual life. What what I do with that? What? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you were looking like for an apartment. I don't want to get into all the details here live in front of these hundreds of people that are watching. Oh, no, I have a new apartment now. It's all good. It's oh, I've, I've already been doxxed in and I don't care anymore. <laughs> yes, his name is Booster, and he lives in New Zealand. He lives in a little town that has many crocodiles while walking around the streets, yeah. and uh, there are many sexy ladies who have no interest in his very short baldness. That's true. It's it true. Is, true. Not, not is that a euphemism? Ladies. Yes. <laughs> uh, but no, dude, very happy to have you back here today. And uh, I might be a little bit surprised for you. I do think. I do not later... call my penis my boldness. <laughs> <laughs> Is it hairy? Oh, goodness gracious. Well, he's missing the hair on the top of you. So it's coming out somewhere else. So, I call you know, it skates. Maybe there's, maybe just on the head, there's little hairs coming out. He has to shave them every now and then. Oof, oof. <laughs> uh, Pencil of Light says, Chester, question. White Walkers, does that include the dragon turn White Walker? Um, uh, well, spoilers, because I didn't even know that. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I didn't know uh, that either. Thanks. Yeah, I, I guess it would, though. White Walkers, White catch Walker. Catch up. That's been like two years now. He knows. <laughs> Knock it off. All right. Uh, but uh, uh, sure. And Captain Kennedy says, and hobbits. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, I just didn't All want to mention things it. happen. Yeah. yeah. IRL. Well, for, for those of you who don't know, that uh, Booster is actually a real, true to life living hobbit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's yeah, you know, it's sad because it is true. I'm, I'm sure I'm bald and I got the big hairy feet. My my feet are huge. They're hairy. It's the, it's a sh- it's a shambles. It's a bloody shambles, just a bloody shambles. Well, you know what they say about large feet and men. Mm-hmm. Oh, John Mellon. Oh yeah, yeah. I need big socks. <laughs> is that what they say uh john yeah. Mail is in here hello sir he says draw booster draw uh maybe uh, you get should do white walk of dragon yeah and hey john okay. yeah, i can do that yeah. yeah we got bethany in here as well we got rainbolt uh of course i already said hello to lorenzo we got dina in here uh, of course uh, she did a great job last week uh took the bella championship went on and did uh daenerys yesterday on the pro edition awesome uh trust sidekick is in here as well uh mccrank uh, anonymous alias interesting um, but uh, uh, happy to have you guys all in here. We got Bullet as well. Wolf Milk. Yes, John Malin is in the house. And oh. uh, ooh, I, actually, I think it's like, ow, is probably with that <laughs> better did, reference. I did a very good tribute to Wolf Milk. Do you remember that one? I, I do remember that we had, uh, you did a wolf and it had a very large penis, and I was very upset with you. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> um, and breasticles. And breasticles. Yes, it was, it was some kind of. I don't even know what they call it. They must have a word for it these days. They have a word for everything now. But a, a female wolf with a large peni. 
Yeah. It was yeah. actually an abs. It no, just, it was uh, unfortunately a looked like a penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was, um, there was no penis mm-hmm. on the show. Why no, it, 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 I disagree. Uh, How's your father? Says backhole campaign. Yes, yes. Talk to John Malin. Uh, Marsupial gamer says hail sister cat. Yes, absolutely hail. That's of course. Uh, Marsupial gamer is one of the uh, members of the D and D game that I'm running over in uh, Dillard Draws. Uh, we're having a lot of fun with that. Are you enjoying that, cat? Uh, yeah, it's great having a lot of fun. Good. We can yeah, always no. use a girl. You need to heal. No, actually, she's <laughs> playing. Uh, she's playing a <laughs> scout. <laughs> No, seriously, Actually, I know that's the a I understand that. People need to be told me. I've almost died. A couple <laughs> times, actually. Uh, yeah, but, a couple uh, times. Yeah, I know that's an Overwatch joke. I get that. Uh, but actually, uh, uh, Kat here uh, plays a pretty good scout. She's doing a good job. Oh, and uh, uh, that uh, D&D show, which is on uh, Monday at uh, 10 p.m., I believe. Oh, no, excuse me, uh, 9 p.m. Um, uh, that show actually is um, uh, kind of an introduction to role-playing in D&D, really. And I'm uh, having a lot of fun with it. I'm enjoying it. And of course, I just had another person who's a member of this other than Kat. And of course, Marsupial Gamer over here. Uh, John Diller just came in. John, you're on time. Oh, no, you're not. J- J- on J- time so for was- what? Well, what is this? This is drawing. We're drawing white workers, uh, white walkers. Get the <laughs> <laughs> Don't white worry about it. Oh, man, that completely changes everything. <laughs> it does, man. It does. We're going to draw the today. white people in their uh, natural habitat. Yeah. Now, John, we're doing uh, White Walkers from Game of Thrones? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. John, I expect excellence. <laughs> oh, it's going to be excellent. I'm going to win for sure. I mean, look who I'm competing against. You know? oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there you go. Uh, the shade has begun. Now, Garrett, keep in mind, I know you're new here today. And of course, uh, uh, but keep in mind, you can throw as much shade as you want to anybody you'd like anytime. Especially John. Especially- Garrett, is that that guy that was invited by that uh, China woman? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yes. Ooh. Thumbs it up. <laughs> Flit, uh, uh, Amron, Chester with a Freudian slip. Was it a Freudian slip or was it intentional? Uh, how fast is, uh, was I thinking at that moment? Hmm, let's question that. I think we'll go with uh, Chester how being right. Chester usually. Ever think. Yeah, yeah, all right. Uh, I heard white wankers. Well, that's not exactly the same. How's your father? <laughs> America's forgotten man. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. And I knew this was going to happen because it's uh, when I started the stream off, uh, even before we came on, I was chatting with uh, uh, Jiminy Cricket over here in the chat. Now, he's working. He's got a deadline tomorrow, so he can't come in here and draw with us. But he is watching, and I'm sure he's going to make a, uh, an inappropriate comment or two as we go along. But uh, uh, he was making fun of me with the uh, White Walkers as well. But uh, then, of course, we came into Johnny, uh, 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 Johnny Walker or Jiminy Walker. No, Johnny Walker, that's on the alcohol. Jimmy. What Jimmy was Walker. Called? Jimmy Walker. That's what it was. Don oh my. Oh my. I love that show, man. Uh, that was Good Times, right? Was the name of that show. Yep. That was a good show, man. I liked that a lot. I was I, I watched that religiously. Uh, that one, the Jeffersons, uh, Sanford and Sons, uh, you know, as far as, um, you know, I know they tell us these days that uh, that that uh, all the different diversity types don't get enough uh, representation. So we have to sacrifice everything so they can have it. But, uh, yeah, I grew up in the 70s watching a lot of uh, what you would call ethnic stuff. Uh, so I don't know what they're talking about. And Sanford and Sons was probably my favorite. Red Fox was awesome, dude. You guys ever watch that show? What, what was his wife's name, name again? Elizabeth. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, I'm coming, yeah. <laughs> Elizabeth, I'm coming, I'm home. coming to you. I'm coming home. <laughs> yes, I've, uh, I've watched the show a few times. It's awesome, dude. Sanford and Sons is killer, dude. That was I'm a really good. You big show. dummy. Yeah. There was a bunch of good ones, man. Chico and the Man was another really, really good one. Uh, you know, another one I liked oddly was this. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it was a uh, an old lady. She was an old Italian mama, and the show was named after her. And just of her, uh, you know, antics. I think her husband had uh, passed away or something like that. Uh, but it was this, it's some of the show you would expect I would never like as a kid. But I love that show. Uh, anybody remember the name of that one? Goodness, it was like an old Italian mama that uh, ran a uh, like a I think it was like a bodega or something like that. Maybe a restaurant. No, I think it was a bodega. Uh, but uh, that was a cool show too. Uh, nevertheless, uh, of course, guys, uh, I'm going to start showing the art here momentarily. I'm just giving them a few minutes uh, to get their foundations in before I start jumping over. And uh, uh-oh, uh-oh, I, I I just got a link uh, that is showing me someone is arriving. Uh, this could go south. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfectly. We have one spot. Pixel, Pixel. I just yes, got sir. a I just got a notification from a certain person that uh, shall be named Cecil. Oh yeah. That's the reason I'm here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, I got one sh one, one seat for him. So uh, uh, I can't do like this. I can't have someone funnier than me in the show. That's uh, this can't work. <laughs> well, dude, I'm here with you every day. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, oh, honey. Let's <laughs> <laughs> not uh, get uh, no. Let's not get too excited. All right, mm. fine. All right, uh, but uh, what is Dina saying? <laughs> Dina over here in the chat. Dina is real, of course, is the that China woman I was talking about. And she's an amazing artist, but she's also one that you should not trifle with. Uh, she says sprouts are the best part in spring rolls. Hmm. I'm not surely we're uh, sure what to make of that. Anyone want to uh, translate that into uh, insults? Because you know, up above she says egg roll is good, but spring roll is better. I don't think they're really. She there, says Dina. She says, Dillard can go eat dirt. No egg roll for you, Dillard. And then she goes on about the benefits of egg rolls. I see. Actually, I do love the uh, uh, egg rolls in America. Uh, egg rolls, uh, of course, uh, uh, have been uh, designed more for the American flavor in taste in America, where it was over in Asia. They would call them spring rolls is technically what they are. But uh, um, uh, I do think they're the same. Someone would probably correct me. You know, that's the great thing about a chat. Spring they're rolls always... don't have egg in them. Yeah, I don't. Spring rolls are about spring onions and stuff, man. Is it? Yeah, egg, is it? egg rolls are deep yeah. fried too. Yeah, no, spring rolls are deep fried. Well, spring rolls are deep fried too. That, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess it depends on where you get your spring rolls. Get, get, get out of here, Pixel. Oh the, my God. The spring rolls are, are not. They're. Uh, you, oh my. Yeah. Well, now uh, let's let's get back slightly on track here because obviously in the chat trolling us is a Cecil. Uh, he's watching. He is watching. So, uh, uh, Pixel, can you explain to me exactly how uh, Cecil is coming on and exactly why you have uh, uh, put <laughs> us in the position of having to receive the Cecil? <laughs> well, you know, I was looking for uh, somebody that might be able to host. And uh, I asked Cecil if he'd be willing to host. Unfortunately, he had things to take care of this, this evening. So I'm like, well, you know, we'll still bring him on to, to hang out and cause you guys some grief. You know, since, uh, that's the best fun, right? It is fun, and actually, uh, there's not no. a lot of people. There's not a lot of people in the community I haven't spoken to yet. Actually, and Cecil is one of them, so it'll be kind of nice to sit and have a chat with him. And uh, luckily, we are PG thirteen plus, so uh, he's safe here. Um, um, although uh, Booster hasn't used his one bad word uh, a show yet, which is weird because you. Yeah, and I'm not three. letting Cecil fucking take it. Yeah, well, there it is. There it is. Um, uh, Sporkman and Sudi is in here. He says, Jester, egg rolls are not truly Chinese either. No, they're not. I understand that. That's what I, that's what I was trying to say. Uh, the Chinese, particularly over in New York and stuff like that, Korea, they adjusted the Chinese food for an American taste. So a lot of the foods we have in uh, America uh, that we call Chinese are actually kind of a, a mix. There's a lot, quite a bit of Polynesian uh, uh, taste involved with it as well. Uh, but nevertheless, Bullet says, shade on Chester. I was looking for someone to host, lol. <laughs> No, dude. We do that all the time. Uh, once a month, we will have a uh, host from a, another channel host the show. Uh, I am always emceeing, but uh, uh, we, we we stopped doing moving week to week because it was too confusing for people. Uh, so most of the month, we stay here on Fanspeak, so it's uh, consistent. But once a month, we like to jump over to another channel and give them an opportunity to host this uh, wonderful show. And, uh, you know, uh, so, yeah, no shade. It's uh, as intended. Uh, but um, let me see here. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, Dina Israel says, Cecil is not edible. All right. You will choke if you try. Okay. Thank you very much, Dina. I'll remember that. Uh, <clears throat> what is this? Marsupials Gamer says, California. How am I supposed to read that? Is that California? Is that California? I mean, which one is this supposed to be? I'm not sure. Uh, Lorenzo Lisa says, <laughs> that was a good attempt. Thank you. Uh, the pe the white people tried finding gold, and Chinese business owners were smart enough to set up restaurants in San Francisco. Yeah, well, it's always those people that make the money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Eric uh, uh, Hotfliss is in here, and he says, uh, from what I understand, fortune cookies are called American cookies in China. Uh, that's what I've heard, at least. Well, you do realize that fortune cookies are actually not Chinese at all. Uh, they're actually a, ch a Japanese senbei. But, you know. 
I guess that's neither here nor there. there. Uh, nevertheless, I think I've killed enough time with my with my voice. Uh, and uh, let me come over here and start showing you this art. I'm going to start over here with Ryan, and I'm going to work my way down. Uh, so just know you know, Ryan, everyone's looking at your art. But uh, I will come back to you at the top of the hour and speak to you guys individually, specifically. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, I'm going to show you art as we go along, of course. And uh, do keep in mind, you guys can interject, say anything, yell at Booster all you want. Go right ahead. Okay. Don't don't yell at Booster. It hurts my feelings. Oh, well, I'm very sensitive right what now. You get paid for, you know. I get I get paid to weigh tomatoes. <laughs> That's that true. Do, he does do that. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a kitty in the background? I can hear a bird, maybe. Because if it is crack, it's Nick. It is really loud. A cat, maybe a kitten. Maybe I hear a kitten. Like it's okay. Cat sounds are good. We don't mind them. Yeah. Uh, John uh, Maroney says, uh, fortune cookies, they're hollow, full of lies, and leave a bad taste in your mouth. Okay. Uh, yeah, I had a fortune cookie. It told me that I was going to win this competition. Oh, you did. <laughs> All right, sweet. Uh, let's see. Uh, John uh, I just had a regular says, cookie. Oh, you did? Well, uh, I like cookies. It's like one of my favorite things. Yeah, this uh, job has just sucked the life and soul out of Booster, hasn't it? It has. Yeah. It has, man. God. God. There's God. only... Jesus. Dude, there's only tomatoes a man can weigh before he loses his sanity. <laughs> how many times do you do it a night, actually? It's a good question. Well, how, how many tomatoes I weigh? Yeah, tons. How many tons of tomatoes do you weigh a night? Lots. That, that dude, you would think by now you would know the job enough that you could give me a tonnage. Well, I don't do it by tons, Chester. I take a sample from a truck that goes by tons. I mean, the trucks will bring like well, he grabs water. the tomatoes. They come across the conveyor belt, and he rings them up and puts them in a bag. That's what he does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> All right, then. I do think his job is slightly different. So, you know what, Booster? Everyone is really excited and interesting, uh, interested. So why don't you just take, uh, you know, I don't know, 20 minutes and just and, and describe your job in the most you know, excruciating God, detail. Do not take 20 minutes, please. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm going to tell everyone about my, my job. My job. That's going to be bloody you, exciting. Way, Go okay. ahead, dude. Now, Okay, so 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 I stay in the inspection hut. Then a truck comes in, and then I go up the little stairs, and I play with, with these little controls so that there's like a little grabby machine. I grab a little sample out from the truck, and then it goes into a bucket, and I grab one from the truck, and then one from the trailer. Then I put it on a conveyor belt, and that goes down to the hut, and then I go down the little stairs to go back into the hut, and then that goes onto the jags, which is a kind of machine that I use to weigh the tomatoes, and then I have to weigh the how much the total weight of the tomato sample is and then the, get rid of the dirt and then the other stuff the only other crap then i get rid of the tomato sample and then yeah good one wow hmm. why why is that process even needed i don't know but i get paid a lot to do it all right well sweet there you oh, go but also it exists so that uh we can determine the quality of the tomatoes and that will determine how much the uh, paddocks are paid i okay well that's probably why they have it then all right there we go. I did a real. Oh my god! There you go, guys. That's my job. It was clear. You did a good nice. job. Yeah. You still have nineteen everyone minutes left. Needed that. Oh, worthless yeah. sissy job. You know, cat here used to uh, work in a coal mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real job boost. Yeah. Cat is a yeah. dog groomer. But here's she the thing, John Dillon. Does she get no, 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 to she sit around for, in a coal mine? Does she have get to sit around for forty minutes each mine hour, getting to play Legend you know. of Zelda: Breath of the Wild? Well, it's not just uh, shoveling around rock salt to, and coal. It's awesome. But Cat was also down there laying concrete. You, did you know this, Booster? <laughs> there you go. See, Booster. I get Cat to play is more manly games. than you, is what he's trying to say. I'm and I'm not saying you're manly, Cat. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Very lovely lady hands. I can see them. Uh, <laughs> lady we are looking at your art, by the way, Cat, right now. Oh, are you? Oh, geez, okay. I thought we were looking at a lady hands. We're doing both. Nice, oh, sir. Yeah, see, I'm a multitasker. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Marcy Gamer says, wow, off the rails, no CISO required. Dude, 
Absolutely not. We're always off the rails. Mm-hmm. That's the fun mm-hmm. part of us. We're far more entertaining than those boring pros. My God. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's like, put you to sleep, man. You that's know, it's true. Just like, we should just true. steal their. We should just steal their entire show and format and call it the fan edition. We should. We should do yeah. that, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, and don't blame me for that. That's not my fault. It is Pixel Trader's fault, a hundred percent. Take Pixel. responsibility for your actions, sir. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Bullet says Cat is a man's man. Oh God, you guys are going too far now. You gotta hurt her feeling. <laughs> oh yeah, Cat's a hard <laughs> fighting, hard farting man's man. There you I'm go. Man, All right, Cat, we gotta we gotta fix the situation. Let us see your hands very clearly. Put them in front of the camera so everybody oh, can see. Oh, now I'm just gonna stop drawing. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness, Dazzler says I only watch the fan edition. Well, you're a good girl. That's why. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's sweet. I'm going to keep moving down the line. No, we're coming over to George now. Uh, so the camera's on you now, George. Uh, but um, I know uh, um, uh, certainly having a lot of fun over here today, as usual. But uh, since we are doing the White Walkers, and one thing we do here that the uh, Pro Edition really doesn't do much is we actually talk about the subject matter. <laughs> Just uh, you know, just you know, okay. You, you did that little. I sh- think the chat was trying to talk about the subject matter, but you called spoilers yeah. on him. What's up with them? Well, they called you spoilers throwing on little. Yeah, from bloody shade, Chester. But we didn't talk. We didn't talk about that at all, Chester. We did a little bit, but I'm. We didn't to talk more. about it at all. Don't lie to the people. Have you had your bourbon yet today? I have had no bourbon. I don't. I don't have bourbon today. It's brutal. Yeah, I've well, you need to. Bourbon. You're just drinking straight Mountain Dew. Yeah. <laughs> Good God, man. <laughs> What a fatty. Leave my, right. my fattiness out of this, you piece of crap. <laughs> what are you trying to say, George? Chester's my hero. Straight Mountain Dew. Neat Mountain Dew. Gosh. That's never been done before. Mountain yeah. Dew, code red. Neat. Sick oh. <laughs> <laughs> not start. Uh, yes, uh, uh, I did. I did try to try to answer you, uh, 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 John, uh, but uh, I got interrupted rudely. But it's the way it is over here. Uh, but yeah, so White Walker is a. Uh, it's kind of like a wraith. Uh, it's from the Game of Thrones series, and uh, uh, I won't get into the deep lore because um, that's kind of the fun of watching. Oh, they're Game just of fucking zombies. They're, they're not zombie, zombies. Zombie vampires. They're not zombies at all. They're wraiths. Oh they're my god! Oh my god! Zombies. They're just they are zombies. Certainly not zombies. They are not. And uh, do keep they're in not mind. They're like the yeah. same as zombies, okay? They've just come back from the dead and they kind of got little bits of flesh on them coming off. But they walk really slowly and stuff. And then they run like they're infected, actually. And some of them are very good looking. Yeah. And, uh, and they're also rather intelligent. Uh, this is what uh, takes them out of the mindless zombie uh, character into the wraith, particularly their oh. leadership. Oh my God. How are White they Walkers smart? are racist. I don't get how they're I hope smart. So. How are they smart? We talk about the leadership is incredibly intelligent, dude. The leadership, not the I, others. I have seen no evidence of this. It's more like a hive mind kind of thing. It's more like they're really, really overpowered and just lucking out the further they walk. <laughs> oh, there you go. That I hope that cleared it up, John. Uh, that, yeah. He asked the question. So uh, <laughs> let's see here. Paulus Mobus. Uh, yeah, see, I don't want to put that one up, Paulus. Um, um, we are PG-13+, plus, but uh, we have to be a little bit careful what we put up. You know how things are these days, dude. Um, but Oh, we got Liam in here. Hey, I want to see what he's putting up. What is he putting up? No, uh, you don't. Uh, <clears throat> Liam says, uh, in the books, they're beautiful ice elves. Yep. Uh, Come Book Bob says, cat talk Chuck Nor- uh, t- cat taught Chuck Norris how to be Chuck Norris. Damn. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, I'm coming back. I'm looking at the hat, hands again. We're looking at the hands. All right, cat. Oh, no, don't do that. No, no. <laughs> I'm staring at. I'm, I'm staring at them. All right, I'm, All right, I'm moving down the line. <laughs> to Garrett. Uh, this is Garrett. Now, Garrett's a new face here today, John. Uh, would you like to indoctrinate him properly, John? You're no, welcome. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I had this thing going on. I know. Welcome, Garrett. Welcome. I'm, I'm actually a very nice person, you know. <laughs> Oh no, he's trying to trap you. Run, you fool. <laughs> uh, this is really cool what you're doing, though, Garrett. I like it. Yeah. And uh, I see why Dina sent you over to us, actually. Thank you very much, Dina. 
Uh, let's see. Bullet says, one time Bruce Lee made fun of Chuck Norris. So Cat killed Brandon Lee to keep Bruce company. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Ooh, that's a bit dark. Too soon, man. Oh. Too soon. Bruce, the show us your beautiful hands. Oh. Oh. Come on, I don't have a camera. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, it could, though. I, I, have very, I have very girly hands. They're soft. They are. They and, are and moist and tiny. Moist hands. The word moist. Uh, moist. Do keep in mind that uh, for months now, months now, uh, Booster has been threatening to get a camera. He's been threatening us with yeah. this. So I'm kind of mm. wondering when he's going to, uh, you know, uh, pull through that threat. Hmm. I had to get money first, Chester. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, that's that would help. But you have a job now. You're a tomato dude. I keep spinning on Nintendo Switch games. You said you have small, shiny, wet hands? Yes, that's yeah. what he said, effectively. Yeah. yeah. He said it more disgustingly than that. You, you know, there, there's positions for uh, people with that particular characteristic for cleaning the inside of uh, bomb shells. Well, they also have people that need that job for uh, that work in uh, brothels as well. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So you could, Bomb you shells, could, brothels, same thing. Yep, yep. I, I could thing. work at a brothel. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you. I, 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 I'll bring you up to speed, guys. Don't worry about it. I, I understand that Gazzler's in here, so close your ears for half a second. Uh, uh, they're basically talking about you being the hand job guy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, okay, I you can I, listen again, Dazzler. It's okay. I thought I would help. The, what, what, oh, the, you're helping. You're helping. The, you're the you are the helper, for sure. No, I don't like this deal at all. Sometimes we all need a helping hand. That's true. It's true. Did okay, I'm moving down the line here now. We're looking at Eric Hawkins. We're looking at, oh, geez, Eric, this is awesome. <laughs> Once again, you're biting a lot off today, dude. Oh, it's, you know, I'm cutting the legs off. I'm good. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now, 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 I do apologize. I do believe there's a uh, kitten outside my basement window. That's all right. Okay. And I don't have a cat. But I hear something out there. <laughs> it oh, it's it's the, you need it's to squirt its face there. or drop kick it. Drop kick it. Okay. All right. There you go. You need to bring it in. And then adopt it. Yeah, you know, if it's freezing out there, all you have to do is just close the window and make sure, and turn the blinds down. The window's closed. I don't know. He, he's screaming pretty loud. Oh, uh, put on some headphones. <laughs> well, it's that high pitch they, they did. You can cut, go outside, gather it up, drive it to a nearby riverbed, you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> get a sack and all that. I don't have time to go get a sack and throw them in the riverbed. That's true. That does take time. Uh, Combo Bob says, Cat drank Heather Antos's milkshake. Heather didn't say shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a cold for. Yeah, I know. Uh, Misfit Comics uh, uh, Corner Comics is in here. He says, "I'm actually a very nice person." <laughs> That's right. Yeah, quote unquote. Uh, Jiminy Cricket says, uh, "Come book Bob Lal." It was funny. Uh, Dazzler said, "Cat is a woman's name in Halo." Yes, it is. And, and our very own cat is a woman too. She uh, is. I am. We can play. See, let's go back. We'll look at her hands. See your hands? There they okay. are. <laughs> <laughs> I keep missing them. I know. Oh. She's so quick. <laughs> I'm just picking. Uh, don't worry about it. Marcy <laughs> Gamer says, it's a woman's name here, too. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, Bullet says, uh, he put the lotion on the skin and it puts it in the basket. Yes. Booster is a professional fluffer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! I didn't hear it. Please, very good, Dazzle. So you when when uh, uh, when uh, Uncle uh, Chester says, "Don't listen." You don't listen, okay? <clears throat> uh, <laughs> uh, the chat is just on that is on that line, dude. Uh, yeah, I won't learn how to get that. faster with your hands, Booster. I learned from Cat. Oh oh oh! <laughs> oh. I wouldn't have went there like that. You get oh. it, Cat. Don't take that. Don't take that. Oh. So, uh, Cat, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> oh, Booster, that's not how you do it. <laughs> oh, no? no? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. No, that's not how you do it. That's right. Uh, of course, I've moved down the line here. I'm on to John Dillard's piece. And it's cool what you're doing here. Do you know you're doing a group of uh, walkers. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. Everybody's focusing more on the leader types, but you're going with the more uh, uh, generic walker. It looks like. Yeah, Is yeah. Is that John Dillard's in the stream? 
I don't want to. I don't want to work on the, the same two leaders that everybody always does. I mean, that's true. Do some, a couple that's of true. A little dragon in the background too. Just a little little itty bitty dragon, a little happy dragon in the background. A dragon, a White Walker dragon, indeed. Yeah, I'm that was a white spoiler. Dragon. It was given away. Is that what you're doing, Booster? What are you doing? You want to yeah, show I'm, us? No. No. Okay. It's not really, Daddy. No, you you're not going to put no <laughs> breasticles on it or any kind of peni or anything like that, right? Well, you're I gonna, wasn't going to, but now it's getting boobs. <laughs> oh God. All right, fine. Uh, Bethany's in here, and Bethany says, "Lol." Yeah, there's a Big lot of lolling going on. Titties. <laughs> uh, let me see. Turtle Rabbit says, "Go save that baby." <laughs> Name it, Chester. I don't know what that means, but I, I I have a feeling it's probably not good. Elaborate, please, Turtle Rabbit. Um, nevertheless, guys, we've got 56 people in here watching right now. We do appreciate that. Uh, please make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe, subscribe if you uh, haven't. Uh, we'd really appreciate that. Uh, but uh, definitely hit that share button and let everybody know so that we can have a bigger, bigger group over here. Uh, we'd love to one of these days hit 100. We've been up to uh, 80. I think we actually hit uh, uh, high 80s or 90 once. Uh, but uh, we'd love to hit that 100 once uh, uh, just uh, just for Pixel. Make Pixel happy. Uh, of course, Pixel is uh, the uh, creator of this show, and uh, he's also the creator of Indicron and uh, many other things he's got coming up. So let's make Pixel happy, and let's get this up to 100 people in here. That would be awesome. Uh, Combo Box says, Art T. Bear once asked his high school classmate, uh, God, uh, God, how, uh, God how to ink, he told Art to ask Cat. Wow. Wow, you're just you're getting the Chuck Norris treatment today, there, Cat. You are all awesome. Hey, did you know Chuck mm -hmm. Norris starred in Star Wars? Was in Star Wars? No, tell us about that, George. While you do that, uh, I'm sitting here enjoying Cat's hands. So, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that John laughing over there? Of course it is. <laughs> oh, go ahead, poor George. girl's gonna go all digital sometime. Oh, which is. <laughs> That's a, that is an awesome sport, and we're very. You know happy that Kat has a GoFundMe up right now, so that she can buy a computer, so she can go digital. Did you oh, know wow. that John was the one who put that up? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I think that's cool. We'll see if we can get uh, get Cat a new computer. Uh, throw that in the uh, up in the chat. Uh, we'll 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 get uh, get Cat's uh, crown funder computer. We need Cat to have a computer, I guess. Uh, so uh, uh, go ahead, George. You were talking about uh, Chuck Norris and Star Wars. Uh, no, that's right. Yeah, George, you were going to say something profound. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah Chuck, uh, Chuck Norris uh, was in Star Wars. Yeah, you're not helping us. Well, where exactly? <laughs> <laughs> I think some people know the answer. He was playing the part of the Force. Oh, it's a joke. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, you know, I I, I, pl I, I played this joke. Uh, uh, you know, a few hours ago on Chester, and he was laughing. And I, I, I will not confess to such things, George. I think he did. I will not. I um, think and, he did uh, at all. Well, see, the thing is, though, Booster, you see, what I have to deal with here, guys, is I have uh, George George and DeWolf's, uh, you know, Papa puns, which I have to deal with all the time. And then I got this Booster guy. Uh, so, yeah. you know, feel sympathy for me. You know, I'm the one that I'm I, the one that's dealing with it. Well, we're trying to overcompensate. Booster's not around all this time. I mean, what the hell? So yeah, we got to, we got to, you That's know, true. we got to do our booster shots here and there. Mm -hmm. Good, good. McCrank, uh, McCrank, my uh, Norwegian brother from another mother, uh, says, uh, you were giving Cat cult of Raven PTSD with all the hands talk. I do apologize. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's, the, uh, there's the link to Cat's GoFundMe. Hey, Cat, you oh, know you're up to 25 goodness. bucks now? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, come on now. We need to get her at least a $400 computer, guys. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like a very good well, you course. Have to fund it. You have to fund it to at least 8000 because Kat's only getting 10% of this. I'm getting the rest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See what I, have uh, I like how there's a little homeless person in his cat's face. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. You guys should go check it out. Also, you see Pixel Trader, Trader dropped up the, uh, hey, Mike, uh, go check that out. That's funny. Uh, because as you guys me. know, uh, Ethan and others like to troll Mike a little bit. Because, you know, trolls, uh, Mike is very, very sensitive. Being a moderator for Mike, I can tell you very clearly, he has zero tolerance. And uh, people like, <clears throat> I don't know, Ethan Van Skyver love to bring uh, uh, peni pictures or things that look like peni. 
uh, and uh, frustrate Mike. So go check that out. It's hilarious. Uh, uh, Chester, I hate, to, I hate to break it to you. Uh, that joke has ran its course. Mike, uh, Mike went Armageddon on anyone who um, did a Hey Mike joke. He, he uh, blocked them on Twitter. Uh -huh. And, uh, and uh, he, he blocked everybody. No, he didn't, dude. He didn't block anybody. Yeah, he was he daring people. Oh, yeah. No, he was going. He, he blocked everybody. Ethan was part of the blockade, too. Really? Yeah. I've never heard such a thing. I know he hasn't yeah. blocked me. He, well, because you haven't done a Hey Mike joke yet. I just right. made but, one. No, but you have to do it directly to him. Well, okay. you, it's happening, boys. There you go. Well, I'm good. Next time on, uh, I'm going to go over to Mike's channel here this week and uh, uh, promote Tales from Beyond the Gate, of course, and I'll make a Hey Mike joke at the last do, second. Do, do it, yeah, last, last second. Because yeah. uh, I'm brave. Uh, Jiminy <laughs> Cricket says, don't poke the bear. Chester Busby. <laughs> he, is, he is the bear, and I'm sure he gets poked plenty. I do. I get a lot of poking, but uh, it's okay. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's fun, and sometimes it's not. And I shall not bring up a conversation of wolf milk, wolf milk in this uh, in this this section. Wolf milk, a uh, wolf milk comments comments are all for booster. Just keep that in mind. Oh, goodness. It's true. Oh, I see. Mike didn't block them; he muted them. Oh, I see. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. I missed it. I missed it. Oh, goodness. Oh, very different. Yeah. And uh, moving down the line again here, Kat, just keep in mind, people are watching you. <clears throat> and uh, I'm just going to keep doing this. Top of the hour, though, in about nine minutes, I'm going to come and talk to the artist directly. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is a cool-looking uh, character you're making here, Kat. I like it. Thank you. Yeah. Very clean. I like the face. Sweet. Just keep in mind, Kat, people are looking very intently. <laughs> they are. They are. Especially that thumbnail. I like that thumbnail. This one. Anyway, um, uh, <laughs> a working man's thumbnail right there. Yeah, it is. Uh, Eric Boyd says, uh, Booster's hands are tiny and smell like cabbage. Oof. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, they, they smell like tomatoes, but good try. <laughs> Joke's uh, on no. you. Uh, they smell like tomatoes. It shows what you know, loser. They, sm they smell like the back of your ear. Oh, oh, George. Gross. God, How else am on. I supposed to clean my ears? What the hell? It's just, well, you know, hopefully you do clean your ears, you know, because that... Uh, yeah, they smell that's like Brad Ashworth's wallet is what they smell like. <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Combo Bob says, Cat sent Mike a Hey Mike joke, and Mike blocked himself. <laughs> 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 I love the Chuck Norrising of Cat. Please make this a meme. I want this to be a meme. Someone capture her hands and make memes that are no, surrounding. No, don't capture my hands. <laughs> yes. Don't you listen do to them. Don't, don't do that. I just want to see a bunch of pictures of cat's hands wringing random people's necks. I know. That'd be <laughs> awesome, dude. And, uh, hey, Dazzler. John, your, yours would be in there. <laughs> oh, good. That's true. That's true. That's true. Uh, Dazzler has a comment for you, Booster. She says, Booster's hands are tiny like him. Oh, that's, uh, that's an eleven-year-old. Just so you know, that's an eleven-year-old coming at you. Uh, <laughs> come on, Booster. It's eleven-year-old. Come on. They're not saying it's been Booster. She's eleven. I'm not. I'm not allowed to be mean to eleven-year-olds. I look. Bad. He's talking about me. Come back with something. Something, man. Good God. Be a man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. Let me help you out. See what you do in this case. You you, you say Dazzler, yeah, but you're eleven, <laughs> something like that. And, and you're dumb. You're yeah. <laughs> your face is dumb. I can't believe you just picked <laughs> on an eleven year old. It happened. No, I'm pretty uh, appalled. Oh, 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 lads, boys, come on. Now, now you picked on an eleven year old. You're oh, done. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Moving down the line here, we're back on. George. I was trapped. See, people are mad now. How's uh, your father? Says, "No, you, no, you." That's <laughs> uh, funny. Terrible, terrible. Yeah, but I'm almost positive Booster's dad can beat up her dad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about uh, that, dude. Well, <laughs> I don't know. My uh, Todd is really sexy. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, 
I'm, I'm about to reveal. Ropes. I'm about to reveal a Game of Thrones spoiler. So if anyone doesn't want a spoiler, close their eyes. Oh, okay. No. Well, then I'll just not show your art from now on. How about that? Is this secret uh, information? Come on, come on. You, you, you got to play the game. And no one, if anyone, you know, doesn't want a spoiler, just you know, as I'm zooming out. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you trying to waste my time on purpose? I think that's what he's doing. Yeah, it, it's his. Uh, what, it's what he think is humorous. It's, it's, so, it's his humor. so, so the uh, so the story goes: the slave. While the big battle was happening, the slave girl went uh, for a swim, and she uh, killed the king. Got that, that. Uh, got that Dina caliber of humor there. The slave girl. Um, what's her name? Uh, her name is uh, something. Slave, slave girl one. Slave girl oh. one. Oh, my, um, missile, uh, miss, miss Adol, something like that. You know, this, the, the slave girl, the only slave girl in Game of Thrones. The only one that uh, actually survived all the seasons. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That, that we've seen a bunch of them get killed off, but they like doing that over there. Uh, I've read the red wedding was a really good episode actually. Um, let's see here. Let me uh, check back with that. Uh, 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 let's see. Uh, Comic book Bob is continuing. Cat drew over a mic where, uh, wearing a go cover. Mike was okay with it. <laughs> <Sweet. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> uh, too soon. Uh, let's see. Dazzler said, well, what's the square root of uh, uh, 1168993628307727192717? Nine, nine, seven, seven, Booster. Somebody break it to, to Dazzle that you're, you're never going to use that in real life. Yeah, no. And I, I don't know <laughs> offhand. I'd say awesome. about 10 billion or something like that. Around it's around 10 billion Dazzle. Right? I, I said lots. She in real life. She is using it in real life to to show up booster. That's right. No. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Eric Boyd says, Chester, Bu Chester Busy, I guess you meant to say Busby, is a slave to love. I am. I am a slave to love. Booster, the correct answer to Dazzler's question is, I know the answer, so what are you? I see. Um, I and, just uh, said lots. That's, Misfit that was Corner answer. Comics says, Grey Worm's girlfriend. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, awesome. I'm a slave to love, and I'm a slave to cat's hands. Let's look I got it. a question. I, I was yeah. trying to figure this out. The the the, the dude, all the Unsullied uh, warriors, are they yeah. missing the uh, the meat yes. or vegetables? Yes. Or, or both? Yes. Um, I don't know. I think that they uh, they're they're yes. they've been castrated, so I assume they they're missing their balls. The answer is yes. Yeah, I don't really know. How did know. they bone in that last season? I don't think they huh? did. They they did slave the slave girl and that guy. They they yeah. Did that's why I was so it. confused. Yeah, no, I think they just had their balls cut off, dude. Standard castration. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's okay then. Yeah, there you go. See, I was right. About ten billion, almost eleven. Not a little off, but you know, close. Uh, let me see here, Garrett, dude. Uh, this is good piece, man. I'm liking it. Thank you. You guys see what Garrett is working on here? It's a White Walker. It is a White Walker. It's yeah, nice, though. It looks really good. Yeah, it's looking dope. Uh, it Liam has got information. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> and they're all disagreeing on uh, exactly. Yeah, those uh, are cool. It does look cool. It is really nice. And uh, <clears throat> getting up top of the hour here in a couple minutes, so let me just uh, kind of finish uh, showing this. I'm going to go back to the beginning and talk to the artist directly. Uh, Eric, uh, you want to back it up a little bit so people can see you real quick? Yeah, it's a cool piece, dude. It's fun. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, Eric Boyd says, uh, Booster was depicted by Brad Ashworth. Uh, he is the handyman, only all oiled up. He also smells of uh, uh, Fermunda cheese. All right, sweet. <laughs> I'd read that story. Yeah. Well, actually, John Dillard here, who I'm moving on to the, uh, uh, let's just see his art right now. Uh, John Dillard actually did a very nice po poster of the uh, Booster Boys, uh, which oh, had yeah. an oiled dwarf version, a uh, muscular one of, uh, hmm. of uh, our Booster here. It also had uh, uh, Rick Piper enjoying an oil being poured over his sexy body. And, of mm -hmm. course, you also had the god of oilness 
hanging above them with his beautiful white beard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was Did a, you know that Rick Piper you know, now has uh, uh, trading cards available of his 750 million characters? Really? Oh, that must have yeah. took some time. Mm-hmm. I bet that does, yeah. Yeah, now uh, I do know, John, you've been working on an endeavor uh, to steal uh, his uh, IPs and uh, to make them something real. Uh, so, no, no, stolen. Already, already finished, yeah. Yeah, already oh. finished. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, just keep in mind that uh, uh, John Dillard is an IP stealer. All right. That's what he does. I, uh, I, I finished. You are taking finished. it back for the? I'm taking it back for yeah. the. For the Mexicans is what I'm. Oh, there you go. Take it back for the Mexicans. Uh, Dazzler says, <clears throat> "Eric's looks nice. He just looks like uh, he's fighting with a broom." Uh, okay, well, let's just speak. <laughs> 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 All right, Booster, before I go back and talk to the artist directly, uh, go ahead and show us what you got, man. Okay, I drew a blue eyes white dragon. Um, this is <laughs> not bad. It's not funny, though. I don't uh, I don't see the humor. Where's oh. the humor? I is that a Pokemon? I think it's a Pokemon. <laughs> it's a Yu-Gi-Oh! No, oh, you play yeah, Pokemon every thing. day. We know this. Hmm. He's Pokemon Go guy. That's no, why he that's doesn't a, work. That's, no. a, that's a Beyblade. No, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, don't don't confuse Yu-Gi-Oh with Pokemon. Don't don't do that to Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a Pikachu. Salamans. Booster, why? Mm-hmm. All right, I I think you need to take some more time, Booster, and make it funny though, because it's it's not funny. Oh, um, all right, fine. I would just put some tits on it. Will you be happy then? <laughs> I would. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, much better. Much better. Okay. <laughs> I put nipples too. Uh, oh God! All right, moving on. Mm. Uh, all right, now, guys, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to uh, actually full screen uh, each artist and have a conversation with them. Uh, it is top of the hour, after all. So uh, here we go. We're talking to you, Ryan, and everybody can see your art uh, very, very clearly. So uh, uh, this is kind of cool. Now, are you taking a specific scene, or are you just kind of taking the general concept here? Uh, just kind of floating around, just trying to make something happen. I'm still uh, recovering from drawing uh, cartoony characters for so long. So trying yep. to get back into my swing. Yeah, it looks fun. like you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. Yeah, I'm in that vibe right now. Just kind of floating around, hoping something happens. We'll see. I think what you got going on is really cool. Uh, well, it's definitely you. interesting. Uh, I like how now uh, our, our, we're having a couple of White Walkers on the uh, on your picture. Or do you have a White Walker in the front and you're representing something in the back? Well, what's the What's the concept here? Uh, White Walker in the front, another one in the back, and then I might just do some like smoky, misty mountains kind of in the background. Oh, sweet. That sounds good. Uh, now, you were talking a little bit about your work on uh, the Netflix show uh, The Hollows, and uh, you said that earlier you got a, you're actually completely storyboarded out two uh, episodes uh, for the new season, right? Oh, well, yeah. We had uh, two boards or uh, two episodes to do, and on each set of boards, there's a team of two. So I got paired up with a uh, wonderful, wonderful storyboard artist. And uh, yeah, we, we tackled those things and we had a very, very tight turnaround. It was, uh, I think we had two weeks less than what we're usually supposed to get. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it was very, very intense. A lot of late nights, a lot of overtime. So Yeah, but still, that must have been a lot of fun. <clears throat> and uh, uh, I would assume working on an animated series, uh, the but the uh, time schedules, uh, you know, the budgeted time must be ridiculously tight. Yeah, it's um, the, the the turnaround is one of those things where you always wish you had like just that little bit more time, but it just never yeah. works out that way. <laughs> uh, can you tell uh, everybody here and the audience out there uh, what is the Hallows? Uh, the Hollow is an animated series on Netflix, and it just got announced that season two will be happening in 2020. And I just got uh, off of doing storyboards for them on that. And, and, and what's the, what's the so- uh, story pitch on it? Uh, the story pitch is a bunch of kids wake up in a white room. They have no memory, and they have to discover who they are. And while they're discovering that, they eventually find out they have powers. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the one, is this the one with the, the there's a wall? Uh, that they had to overcome, and then all of a sudden they start going into different dimensions? Um, I believe so. Let's see. In the, in the first episode, uh, they wake up in a white room. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. And then from there, they have to escape it and figure everything out. And, and, uh, and I'm not, I'm not going to say anything more other than uh, just say yes or no. Uh, there's a game show aspect to this at the, at the end somewhere, right? Uh, if you've seen season one, then yeah. Okay. I, I think I know the, the show that you're talking about. Whew. You, you, you had me going there for a moment. I, I didn't have any context of what you were talking about. Yeah, well, you know, I I binged on Netflix so much. It's, you know, it it all starts to blend in. Blur together. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll show it real quick here so you guys can get a look at it. Uh, Here's uh, what the show looks like. The art style. It's kind of nice. I like it. Of course, they have. Yeah, it is looking good. And they have one of every color, which you got to have these days, right? (laughs) Yeah. Well, that's true. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, for season one, it's pretty good. Yeah, and it seems it has a bit of comedy to it. Yeah, there's that's, lots of lots of uh, slapstick and um, yeah, they they did a really good job on touching all the bases on uh, the characters and stuff like that. So, oh, cool. I'll have to go check it out. <clears throat> All right. Well, anyway, guys, that's uh, Ryan uh, we're, uh, here, and uh, I'm going to move down over here to Cat, and we're going to have uh, lots of fun watching Cat and her wonderful hands, and uh, uh, I'm going to present to everybody. So, Cat, hi. Hi. And I'm not going to stop drawing. You, you should. Said that. <laughs> please don't. Please don't. Um, uh, uh, and of course, that would keep me from my. Uh, that would stop me from uh, continuing the joke. Actually, as soon as it doesn't matter to you, then it's no more fun, right? Uh, but uh, uh, nevertheless, Kat, uh, now you're you're getting kind of busy. You're working on a bunch of little projects here uh, 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 behind the scenes and stuff. Uh, how how are you enjoying uh, getting in, uh, involved with uh, using your art for uh, actually, you know, something? Um. Well, you know, it's kind of frustrating going from. Uh only doing it for fun to suddenly it actually matters. <laughs> Is it frustrating? Really? Well, yeah, I, I, I find it's uh, quite a bit of pressure. It is fun though, but. Well, it's so. because you're skilled. Uh, people want your art. I mean, and uh, uh, that's a good thing, right? Yeah, uh, I guess so. I just don't do well under pressure. So it's. Oh, yeah. I get it. No, that's right. no pressure. Just have fun. That's the okay. main thing. Yeah, you know, no, we only I... got about an hour left. Huh? Hey. <laughs> Yeah. Now, uh, Kat, I would ask a question of you. Uh, now, how exactly did you f- find this community? How did you end up over here? Um, well, I think I started, like, I, I found some of the YouTubers like Diversity in Comics and uh, people like Nurkish and all that kind of stuff. And then, um, and then I started a Twitter because I wanted to, um, I don't know, like make comments on some of their Twitter stuff and follow some of the people in the community that I followed. And then uh, someone right off in the beginning, I think it was like my second follower and they retweeted one of the, the drawn and quarter fan edition. And that's when I found uh, y- you guys and what you were doing. And I think I messaged you right away after that. So oh, that's how yeah. I got here. But there you go. Uh, that is really, uh, uh, that's cool. That And that's how a lot of people have come over in the community. We got uh, uh, a lot of people here because they saw the fan edition. They want to be involved. Uh, so that's really, really cool. Uh, we got Edmund Boyad in here. Hello, sir. Nice to have you in here, of course. Uh, and uh, we do have a couple of uh, continued comments for uh, the cat awesomeness. And uh, let's see here. Um, I think there was one about Twitter that was kind of fun. Uh, let me find it here for, for you, Cat. Now, uh, Combo Bob says, uh, Cat broke Twitter's terms of service. Twitter banned themselves. <laughs> is he just right. Googling Chuck Norris jokes and replacing them I with think, Cat? I think he is. Yes, I think this is exactly <laughs> what he's doing. That's cheating. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, Dazzler, by the way, really loves your art. She's really enjoying it. And um, uh, Combo Bob continues. He's got another one for you, Cat. He says, Cat growled at the paper. And the picture drew itself. <laughs> yeah. Dazzler says, Cat, I am in your favor. So you got a fan. Aw, thank you. Yeah, sweet. Uh, but uh, no, we're really happy you did come over, Cat, and because uh, <clears throat> we're really enjoying your art. So thank you very much. Thanks. All right, let me move down the row here and uh, come over to George. Now, George, you're being presented to everybody, so you got to pay attention now. 
Go ahead and back that picture up so we can get a good look at it. Oh, uh, fine. Here we go. All right, so we have a lady, uh, and she has a white worker head. Uh, and uh, who's the lady? She is, oh, geez, I forgot the name of the character. Give me a sec. Uh, it's played by uh, Natalie Emmanuel from uh -huh. Game of Thrones, and the character is called Miss, uh, M I S S A N D E I. Miss Sandy? Miss Sandy. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Is, is that John? Is that John making fun of me? Of course he is. It's, of course he is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, uh, but that's okay. Uh, I don't know this character offhand, uh, but that doesn't matter. It's an interesting picture you got here. Why did you decide to go with putting a human in instead of just going straight uh, White Walker? Uh, because everyone else. I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ink this. I'm just gonna go. Uh, I'm just doing straight uh, pencil line. On this, because I'm I never win uh, these competitions because the competitions is too tough. I got all these great artists here, mm -hmm. and you know one day when I have control of this stream, I will boot everybody out. And I'll be the only one here challenging myself. <laughs> I see, George. It's a battle of attrition from your point of view, <clears throat> but I don't think that really applies because uh, I think you won this show once. I did, didn't you? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, Argo, Argo's creation says, cat stories like mine. Great community to be part of. Yeah, it is, dude. I'm having a ton of fun over here. Lots of cool people, and we appreciate all you guys for sure. Uh, and uh, Combo Bob says, uh, I don't play that copy crap. Uh, copy cray, I guess you want to say. Uh, succeed or fail on your own. That's how I roll. All right. So he's uh, disputing your claim, uh, Booster, that he's just copying uh, Chuck Norris jokes. Oh, my apologies. Okay. What kind of jokes are there out there other than Chuck Norris jokes? Uh, well, okay, well, there's a lot. But anyway, Hulk Smash is uh, Miss Sandy is the word he wrote in here. And then someone, of course, how's your father couldn't resist? And he says, Miss Sandry. And, uh, you know, the, the chin stroking uh, thinking uh, uh, um, emoji. <clears throat> Combo Bob continues says, when Cat volunteered his tribute, the other competitors killed themselves. <laughs> Oh uh, but anyway, uh, I like this face you got going on here, though, uh, um, uh, George. I think it's really cool. I mean, the lady's face, not not the uh, White Walker. That one's good too. Uh, but anyway, uh, moving down the row here, guys. I'm coming over to Garrett. Of course, Garrett is our new face today. Uh, very happy to have him on here. He brought uh, and Dina, of course, uh, last week's winner, brought him on. Uh, so happy, happy, and uh, very cool piece you got going on here, dude. So. Uh, uh, now, I already asked you a little bit about your inspiration and stuff like that, but uh, uh, Garrett, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself as far as, um, you know, what kind of art do you do? Uh, uh, do you work professionally? Uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, so I am currently working full time as like a graphic designer. Okay. And the illustration side is mostly just commissions and stuff on the side. Oh, I see. And uh, so uh, graphic design wise, uh, what kind of stuff are you working on? So I work for a company that um, makes custom solid gold credit cards. Sweet. Oh. So basically right. we have these, you know, high-end clients who, you know, want a custom solid gold credit card. So they'll give me a concept and, and I'll design something for them. So do you have to go through a scanner every time you leave the premises? No. Should no. I? Dude. Because... He's not touching the gold credit cards, dude. He's doing art uh, art designs, dude. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, we have our uh, we have some jewelers, some Russian jewelers in uh Of course they're Russians. In, in New <laughs> York who, who who do this for us, you know. In New York. Oh, of course. There you go. I know all about that. Uh so uh tell me though, the practicality of a solid gold credit card. I mean, really. Um I I guess just to show it off, you know. I can't afford one, so no, I mean, but I just, does it work? Yeah, absolutely. It works. What do you think? You don't even have to uh, scan it. All you have to do is show it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just shave off a little piece of it. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> How's your father? Solid gold credit cards. Money, money. Uh, Bethany Fra uh, Francis says, uh, I want a solid gold credit card. I, I don't. I don't really see the point of it. Now, I do have a gold card, and I will tell you that gold cards are super handy. If you get a Visa gold card or, or platinum, if you get a platinum, you 
you're mega rich. But uh, if you can get a, an actual gold card, those things are extremely useful in many ways. Uh, when I go to airports and stuff like that, I can get into lounges, just show it, and walk right in, right? Uh, uh, there's all kind of little cool things that the gold card, the Visa gold card actually gives you. Uh, that's not made of solid gold, though. So can you uh, go and uh, get some spray paint that's exactly the same color? No, George. Um, uh, so Liam has a question for you, though, uh, uh, Garrett. He says, yeah. how much are these solid gold credit cards? So um, previously, like, we couldn't sell them just as um, gold credit cards. So they can't sell, like, a membership. Like, a, mm -hmm. it, it was part concierge service, part finance service, move money around, something like that. Um, but the membership was, like, 25000 Oh wow! <clears throat> All right then, there it is. Yeah, uh, Eric Boyd does say solid gold credit card dancers, dude. You just aged yourself incredibly. Uh, but I, I like the solid gold dancers myself, actually. <laughs> you just, who who here understands that reference? Solid gold I dancers. I Raise do. your hand. I do. I'm raising. Uh, I do. Yeah. Okay. Twenty we minute just... workout. Twenty minute workout. Anybody? 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 Yeah. Okay. We're all old. Oh, well. Um, uh, Anonymous Daily says, credit cards, that is also a knife. Interesting. Uh, Ghost of Henry says, I want a bank account that can support a solid gold credit card. Uh, I, yeah, I really don't think I'd want one. But then again, I'm not a re Russian mo uh, mobster. Oh, sorry. Um, membership has its privileges. <laughs> uh, anyway, dude, uh, that is cool job. That is very interesting. And uh, and it kind of goes along with the theme of uh, just all the different jobs in it that an artist can actually get into. Uh, there, It's far more diverse than we would expect, actually. That's cool. Yeah, nice piece, though. Uh, I'm going to move on down the line, though, here, guys. I'm going to come on down to uh, uh, Eric Hawkins. All right, hey. Eric, uh, we're focusing on you now. Uh, so if you can back man? that up a little bit. Oh, yeah, look at that, man. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, lots of detail coming in here. Uh, of course, keep in mind, these guys got a little bit under an hour left. So plenty of time, plenty of time. Uh, so <clears throat> anyway, uh, now, Eric, uh, you have a uh, campaign going on. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's a, it's a Kickstarter, and it's uh, for a comic book called The Zombieful World of Oz. Uh, it's kind of a steampunk fantasy horror. Uh, it's been uh, live for about a week. I'm 91% funded, but I'm not looking for a lot of money. You know, I don't have a large uh, following anyway. So just a little bit of money to get it printed and get it out to uh, the backers and maybe take it to some local shows and uh, sell it there. All right. No, that sounds good. Uh, and, uh, of course, we're going to be talking at length uh, tomorrow with uh, Eric Hawkins on FanSpeak. Uh, he is our featured uh, uh, campaign of the week. And uh, we will go over in, in incredible detail all the things you've got going on with that, dude. So uh, I hope you're ready. I am ready. All right. Good. Now, I know your art's really good, but uh, do keep in mind uh, the, the FanSpeak crew, they are strict, dude. So. How strict? Uh, they, they're going to eat me up and spit me out? Uh, well, Denali and DeWolf in particular, are, uh, they don't pull punches. Yeah, I'm, I'm no, the nice cool. guy. I'm the nice guy. Okay. Hey, you, uh, you can't be an artist if you can't take criticism. That's true. And I, but I already know your art is uh, really good. So it's uh, oh, uh, and I went, I think the page looks fine, but just uh, those guys are going to be very honest and direct. And, uh, and I respect that because uh, oh, yeah. when we, we come out and critique these, we're trying to help uh, the Indiegogos uh, become better and better. Right. So I, I respect what they do, but uh, uh, you know, but they're nice guys too. And of course, uh, 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 oddly, these guys were very quiet when I was, uh, when I was being asked questions. Well, that's because Cat called us up and said, "You better be nice to George," and we were all afraid. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, but uh, Dazzler, whose father we just talked about, uh, does anyone know the song "Tiny Dancer"? That's a nice little reference. Uh, she heard us talking about solid gold dancers, and she thought of the song by uh, Tina Turner. It's a good song. Uh, I don't know what Dina's uh, implying here, but she does say, "I want a chocolate bunny, white chocolate." I, I think she's probably angry, and it's probably Booster's fault. I do apologize. Oh, it probably is, yeah. I thought it was also Easter soon. Is she referring to Easter? I, I don't know. Is Easter Easter is coming up, isn't it? Easter. Uh, I think it's next week. Oh, there you go. Um, actually, uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I I haven't really, you know, I did Easter with my my kids, of course, but it's been years. Uh, but the cool little thing, I probably mentioned this before, but uh, uh, when my kids were little, 
over here in Japan, uh, my daughter uh, was talking to her school friends uh, about Easter, telling them about it. And they thought it was cool, so they wanted to check it out. So uh, for one year, I had like two, I think, maybe three girls uh, had a, like a slumber party over here. And I, I put out the little Easter baskets for everyone. I did little chocolate uh, bunny mm -hmm. hunt and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and that was a lot of fun. But then every year after that, more and more girls were piling into my living room, <laughs> sleeping over, waiting for Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, right? Uh, it got really expensive there at the end, to be honest. With you. <laughs> but it was all good. Uh, it's fun to uh, be able to give them that experience they would never get otherwise. But uh, yeah, I, I, I think at one time there must have been 10 of them in here sleep because you're a Japanese. Uh, I live in a Japanese house, so my house is all tatami. Um, and uh, we just put futons down on the floor, and you can literally fill the whole tatami with a, a futon. And uh, and uh, you can have as many kids as you want sleeping on it. Um, uh, that's kind of a cool thing about the Japanese house style. Um, it uh, each room uh, there is no really dedicated room beyond the bathroom or kitchen. All the other rooms are uh, multi-purpose. So in the in the nighttime you actually would put futons on the on the floor, and then in the morning you take them up. So you can do many things throughout the day with one room. It's not just a dedicated bedroom or living room or something like that. Uh, so it was pretty easy to do actually, but. Uh, the tough thing was uh, me in the nighttime uh, making sure they're all sleeping and tiptoeing a bunch of uh, uh, Easter bunny baskets onto these ta the table here in the uh, front of the tatami room. That was the problem. Why tiptoeing? Do they think that Easter is like Santa or something? Of course. Yeah, Easter bunny, right? Yeah, of course. These are little kids, little elementary school kids, you know? Yeah, kids are stupid. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> they are. <laughs> they are. <laughs> I actually did just, uh, I had a class yesterday, uh, and uh, by the way, John, I am, uh, I'm going to come over and talk to you now. I am presenting you to everyone, but uh, uh, I did a, a, a class yesterday, and I was asking, the, just trying to get conversation out of the kids, get them to create proper grammatic uh, question and answer uh, in, in communication, right? And uh, I had, the question was, is uh, uh, what do you, what do you foresee in your future eight years from now? These are like little junior high school kids. And uh, one of the girls, she says that she wants to be best friends with Santa Claus and live with him. And I was like, that is an awesome ambition. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess no one, no only cat bit, bit on that. Cat gets it. It's cute. All right, John, we're looking at your piece here, man. <laughs> oh, let me zoom out a little bit. All right. Uh, so, yeah, John, now, of course, we're looking at your piece, but uh, you are, of course, the boss of the project that uh, Kat and I are involved with here. I'm the uh, boss. So you are the boss. So uh, tell us about our project that we're involved with, boss. Well, it's a, it's a horror anthology called Tales from Beyond the Gate. It mm. features uh, 19 different creators from this independent comic community and uh, 23 different stories. Yeah. Uh, all short stories between about uh, you know three and uh, 12 pages. Uh, some, oh, actually, some of them went to 13, but uh, I have yeah, a 16 a of, pager. Yeah, oh, there you go. You, you, didn't, you, didn't pick, you didn't clear that by me, though. So. I know. I know. <laughs> I just figured I'd tell you later. <laughs> uh, yeah, better to, you know, ask forgiveness. That's but, true. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of the, a lot of really cool stories. And they're, they're little short, complete horror stories. So you can, you can read one, put it down, come back later. And uh, we got a couple of. Uh, professional people uh, in the community that are back in this project, uh, donating some artwork and such. Yep. Um, but uh, most importantly, this is a really good opportunity for people that are up and coming to really showcase what they can do and kind of, uh, you know, kind of use it as a, a coming out party. And uh, not only that, they can uh, use uh, if they have their own stories, their own uh, their own IPs, their own characters. They can use those in these uh, anthology stories to see, uh, kind of judge whether or not. Uh, the character has legs and whether they should pursue mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, that kind of character. So I think it's a really fantastic idea. And, um, and it's currently uh, on Indiegogo funding right now. And uh, we certainly could use the support if anybody would like to back the project. Yeah, and I do believe Booster just dropped the link to it. And uh, the cool thing about it, actually, is uh, a lot of those stories in there are actually standalone, a little horror vignettes, kind of like Tales from uh, Tales from the Crypt, of course, is the kind of uh, spoof we're doing off of it. But uh, actually, there are several uh, of them in there, including that 16-pager that I mentioned to you, I just mentioned, uh, that are actually more like uh, zero issues. 
they're introducing a character, as Johnny just said, that uh, uh, hopefully will have some legs and continue on. But uh, it's kind of a mix. Uh, we have both going on. But it's absolutely killer art. I mean, you see the art going on up here. It's uh, uh, A lot of these guys are coming off of the fan edition here that are involved. Uh, really, really good stuff. we got Kevin Stewart, of course. We have Eric... Uh, uh, Eric Hawking, uh, not Eric Hawking, sorry, Eric Weathers, um, uh, who has lettered everything in the community, but he's also a great artist. Uh, of course, we've got Manny from Good Dog Press and uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, some really good stuff. And of course, I got involved with the project by uh, submitting and uh, uh, doing some of the writing, and I'm having a great time with it and uh, really fun looking stories. It's a 60 plus page book, guys. I mean, excuse me, 160 page plus book for 30 bucks. Uh, and uh, it's got all those people involved across the communities, uh, including uh, some pros that are helping uh, helping us out. Uh, and, uh, you know, we definitely want to get over that hump and get that book out there so we can show. And, of course, yeah, we know we're unknowns, and it's uh, little steps, little steps. We get that and uh, get this one out. People see the quality of it, and then the next one's bigger and bigger and bigger. That's the intention. We understand that. Uh, and uh, we're But we're, we're serious about it, and we're going to be pushing forward and uh, hopefully be doing uh, uh, multiple of these. Uh, but also everybody kind of has their own projects that they want to be able to do through the introduction of it so uh definitely go check out that link uh go over there and look at it and support us like i said it's 30 bucks for a 160 plus page book it's awesome uh and uh also if you can hit the share button right uh that helps a lot of too even if you can't back it or you, whether you're back it or not hit that share button and get people to come in and look at it. Uh, more eyes on it means more opportunity. But uh, uh, we've had some movement the past few days. We've got about five days left. Uh, so we definitely want to get that goal over. And uh, we're going to be going on some various channels here in the next few days, of course. Uh, but uh, definitely help us out and support that. Uh, but uh, thank you, John. And uh, I will not look at Booster because I'm just depressed. Well, I'm, I'm, just, I'm done. Oh, you are? Did you make yeah. it funny? No. Okay, well, I'm not looking at it then. <laughs> Uh, oh, I just wanted to draw blue eyes white dragon. I know, dude. I know. It's the Yu Gi Oh in you. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, uh, we are sitting on uh, what about um, <clears throat> 50 minutes? You guys got about 50 minutes left, uh, which is quite a bit of time. But of course, Did you uh, say 50, like 5 0? Yep, 50 minutes. Oh, That's right. God. Yeah, That's not enough time, time John. It's a lot of time, dude. It is a lot of time. It is. Yeah. Uh, but that means we're going to have absolutely finished polished art then. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, there you go. All right. Uh, Liam says, how and where do people submit? Well, uh, we had a submission process for the uh, Tales from Beyond the Gate last year, the end of last year. Uh, I was one of the people who submitted for that, uh, amongst others. Uh, and uh, that was a lot of fun. That process itself was fun. Um, and uh, uh, when uh, this project is done, and uh, we're looking forward to the uh, uh, the next tale from Beyond the Gate, well, I don't think it's 100% decided by uh, John yet, but uh, I think the general consensus was sci-fi. Uh, but uh, we will go through a submission process for that again, because we really want to showcase all this amazing unknown talent that is in the community. That's the whole point of uh, the Tales from Beyond the Gate book, guys. Um, and, uh, you know, with all those people involved, this isn't really a money-making endeavor. This is about uh, commercial, it's about, uh, you know, uh, advertising yourselves and uh, uh, getting them out and known into the community more is what the whole point of it is. But, of course, we need money to produce the thing. Uh, because a 160 plus page book, like, and it's going to be more than that when we're done, um, that requires a lot of money to get that published. Uh, so uh, that's what we're looking for. Uh, but uh, next time we do it, Liam, you're more than welcome to submit. Everybody is. Right, John? Yeah, absolutely. And if you want to uh, just talk to me or talk about a project you got working on that you want to submit uh, even now, just go ahead and hit me up on uh, Twitter at uh, John Dillard GTS. John Dillard gaming the system. There you go. Sweet. Uh, now I'm just back. I'm just back here going through the art as I go down. It's sitting on you now, Ryan. But uh, uh, I'm just going to keep sc uh, scrolling through the art. And we got some really good pieces here today, guys. Uh, uh, no one has mailed it in, unlike <clears throat> other shows. Uh, everything here is coming at us uh, pretty hard and uh, hard and fast with these White Walkers. It's really cool. Uh, now, did any of you guys actually watch the Pro Edition yesterday? I, I was at work. I couldn't. I couldn't watch it. Uh, anybody? Oh, I don't watch them. I did watch it. What did you think? Yeah, it was okay. Who won? Uh, Mike. Mike did. Oh, good. I mean, that means he's in a good mood. I don't <laughs> exactly. watch shows that I rip off. Yeah. 
that's probably why he dropped me a link this morning. Uh, actually, what hopefully I'll be able to do it tomorrow because uh, it was uh, oh. uh, the, the Did problem you see is Gary Shipman's one. Gary Shipman. Gary's uh, no. looked great. That's the this one. This incredible. For. He should have won. Yeah, he came. Oh, in oh I saw that on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, he did a really good job. Now Gary has been doing chibi stuff lately. Did he actually put something serious down? Oh yeah, it was incredible. Yeah, it was like one of his originals with the with the real washes and the real I'm painterly gonna, style. It was great. I'm gonna go find it for you, Chester. Oh please. Uh, now I just did get a request in my inbox uh, from uh, Scott uh, Schmer over here in the chat, and he would like to uh, be on the drone recorder. Which you know what, dude? Next week. Well, not we'll allowed. Well, oh, he is no. Yeah, yeah, of course. Tell him I said no. I'm definitely in charge. Not you, Booster. Oh, oh, lucky for him. Yeah, lucky for him. Uh, let me come over here and try to. Are you looking for that piece of uh, Gary Shipman art? And actually, yes, uh, Gary here it is. Went live. Oh, sweet. Let me come over and look at it. All right. Booster is sharing. Oh. Uh, so uh, let me see here. I'll come over to. Oh, jeez, Gary, man. Boy, he literally dropped. Uh, drop. He's been doing a lot of oh. chibi stuff lately, but I damn, he was great. serious. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, Gary is, uh, you know, one of the best artists in the community, without question, dude. Uh, and he's also, like, one of the sweetest guys you'll ever meet, too. Uh, real nice well, fellow. He killed it last night. It was great. Mm. That's he was pretty, dropping pretty good. a lot of F-bombs last night, though. Well, they were? Uh, were they? No, Gary was. Gary? No, Gary never does Gary what are you talking about. Swear. He Gary is an angel. Maybe I'm mistaken. <laughs> No, uh, Gary is a very Gary nice man. So, so he's not very nice. I, I I entered Gary's competition for Duck Dodgers, and he didn't even count my submission. I don't know. Well, did oh, you do something we, we, pornographic? Not at all. It was very tasteful. What are you was talking it? about? Yeah, we talk, we, uh, we acknowledged you. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even put it up on the polls. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. late, late to the game. Now, uh, we're over here looking at you again, Kat, and uh, it's very interesting. You're going with really heavy line weight on your outline there, uh, which is very different than you usually do. Uh, what, what's your reason for this? Are you going to black that entire page out? Uh, the reason is because I actually messed up. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I can't remember if I was talking or what, and then on top of the head, it like went straight off, and I was like, oh, okay, thick outline. <laughs> Yeah, I might, I might uh, block the whole picture. I'm thinking about you, you it. You might have to do that, Cat. That you ruin the picture, otherwise. <laughs> it was. It's <laughs> John. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. No, Scott. I got it. And uh, after the show, um, a matter of fact, I don't have to do it after the show. I'll do it right now, Scott. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to send you an invite to the Discord. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to take that invite. It's a Discord invite, for, so it is time sensitive, right? Uh, so go over here and click on this, and you'll become a member of the Drone and Quarter, and then get in there and just start talking, okay, and uh, interacting with people, and then Pixel uh, will put you on a schedule, okay? Uh, Pixel is the boss of that, so uh, you definitely need to talk to him. Uh, but I'm going to drop that uh, link to you right now, uh, so go over there and uh, uh, just become part of that Discord and uh, just start interacting, okay? Uh, and uh, Pixel will take care of you from there, all right? Easy, easy. Cat ruined it. Oh, the chat feels bad for you, Cat. You probably would have won if you didn't ruin your picture, Cat. But no, huh? I think it looks cool. I like the horse, actually. It's ruined. It's ruined. That's right. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was digging around trying to find my big black marker. Uh, hope I can find. Oh, is that it. what all that noise was? Um, uh, <laughs> and Mortal V says, I heard sweetest guy, but I don't see John Malin anywhere. Well, John was in here earlier. Uh, Wasn't he's probably he trolling. Was supposed to be on? I was lied to. Um, well, yeah, no, he was supposed to be coming on. I know he, uh, uh, Pixel just sent me a message about, ooh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes ago saying uh, he was on, Cecil was on his way home. Uh, so maybe he's uh, yet to get home and uh, jump on yet. Uh, yes, he was probably going to be a run. I agree. Uh, Mortal V says, I guess Chester can give me a wrench and I'll post the Twitter link. <sighs> Just trying to be helpful, are you? We well, you know what, Mortal V, why not? You're on here all the time. Uh, you are now a moderator. Okay, we'll see. Oh now, if you kick God. anybody on, in an unfriendly way, I'm going to have to make you not a moderator, though. So be nice, be kind, and gentle. Okay? Uh, this is not John Diller's channel. <laughs> But go ahead and drop that link. Because people are looking for your Twitter link and they can't find it. It's probably because you went and changed your name, dude. 
Oh, I told you not me? to do that. Yeah, you. You didn't tell me not to do that. What are you talking I about? I most certainly told you not to do that. I think we all told him not to do that. You were like, yeah. don't, you got to change your name, dude. That doesn't make any sense at all. I'm like, okay, I no, guess. No, so. this is definitely lies. There yeah, you go. Really Waterloo just changed my name. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, and I know initially you were kind of joking around and uh, making fun of uh, Richard Meyer when he went and changed his name. I still don't get the logic behind that, and he changed it twice, right? Uh, you are Diversity in Comics. Everybody knows you're Diversity in Comics, but yet you went and changed it not once but twice. I don't understand Richard at all. Uh, the, the problem. It to? Oh, some stupid thing. Uh, but the the thing with Richard is he is in the end he's really soft actually. Uh, they, it's funny that the uh, the supposed progressive artists uh, uh, in the world that uh, hate on him with such vigor, uh, saying he's a Nazi, he's so mean. Uh, he's actually a super sweet guy. He's too sweet, actually. He should be much more hardcore with those bastards. And yeah, I said it. Hardcore? You, say? you said bastards? Said hardcore? Yeah, I did. Richard is a bit weird, but I like Richard though. And uh, of course, the thing about I can't Richard, believe you call him soft, man. Yeah, that's he is soft though. He is. It's all right. <laughs> uh, but uh, Richard is. Um, uh, Richard kicked this whole thing off, man. We're indebted to him for what uh, what he got started, really. Now I know Captain Cummins and the other guys, and uh, you know uh, uh, Tim Lim and uh, Doug Ernst and all those guys were fighting that fight for a long time. I get it. Uh, but it co when it comes down to it. It is uh, 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 Captain Cummins noticing this guy doing a show called uh, Diversity in Comics, mentioning him, all of us going over, and then it just it just exploded, right? And then Ethan came on and took that mantle and went running with it, and it just exploded more, right? So we owe uh, uh, him. He's a trailblazer, for sure. For sure. I guess so. Yeah, I, guess. I, I agree. It. Yeah. Yeah, but he, you know, he 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 is soft though, absolutely, and that's why I went change. Well, that's why I went change it because he's. I don't. I feel bad about it. Why? What's wrong with the name diversity in comics? It's perfectly explains both the criticism and the potential future. It's both, right? Uh, but no, no, he he didn't want to offend people anymore. I am not yeah. so soft. I call it like it is. How is it? I calls it like it is. I calls it like it is. And then I get yelled at by Denali. <laughs> <laughs> Denali. Yeah, he's, he's always warning. Uh, he, uh, Denali is so worried about, because he's younger, right? So he's so worried about that political correctness. And, of course, I'm coming out of a generation that, you know, we stood against political correctness. We th that's We balk at it. Because it's nonsense. It's stupid. It's a uh, it's a uh, uh, thought policing. It's a uh, it's the old church lady who's sticking her nose in your damn business, right? We're uh, very much against this uh, this uh, political uh, this PC crap. And now the world has become nothing but PC. And it's like, what the hell happened? You know, you're a bunch of sheep. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> We follow the true prophet. Who's that, Dina? I want to know who the true prophet is. Is it Booster? His oiled, yeah. uh, oiled highness? Yes. Antarctic Press. Yeah, I get you're saying there, I comic book, Bob. Um, uh, right, Chester. F the thought police. F the commies. Dude, exactly. <laughs> the commies. <laughs> the red <laughs> the scare. Commies, man. <laughs> hey, dude, I actually had get under the desk to protect you, protect you from the nuclear bomb uh, uh, drills in my school, literally, right? We had a bomb shelter under our school, I remember. Uh, and, of course, you know, now that I'm older, I realize that that little desk was in the, will not protect me in the least. <laughs> but I grew up in that era, right? I bet you there's a couple of dudes hit, sitting with me who did the same thing. So yeah, F yeah, I'd comments. say we're probably about the same age. Yeah, I believe. Is that love. Pixel talking? No, it sounds a little. No, like but I stuff. sound like Pixel. It's weird. You you do. He does. Yeah. Yeah. Stop it! I don't like it. <laughs> stop, stop right away. No. I, I, I just moved down the line again, and Garrett, we're back on you, dude. Uh, hey. Just. So you know. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, no, it's all a bunch of nonsense, right? And, uh, and, and of course, look what happens with these, uh, you know, of course, they call them social democratic, themselves democratic socialists these days. It's the same damn thing. It's all Marxism. 
Same crap. But we can do it better because we're smarter and specialer. Okay. Yeah, because it's worked every single time, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly, right. And of course, you get this uh, this uh, crazy bug eyed uh, Corte uh, Ortez. What's her name? Cortez. Help me out with the Mexican uh, John. What's her name again? Nope. Occasional <laughs> Cortez. <laughs> But it's what an idiot it. that lady is, man! It's it, she. I'm actually glad she glad those uh, crazy uh, New Yorkers uh, elected her because boy, she's entertaining because she is dumb, dumb no, as a brick. She's a figurehead. Yeah, but she's also dumb. Which you know, oh, I mean, a lot well, of politicians of are kind of, of dumb, she's, but they. What? Of course she's, of course she's dumb. They and uh, they. She. She. Uh, it's openly known. It's openly acknowledged that she auditioned for the part. Oh, okay, but I'm just saying, you most politicians, whether you know smart or not, they're usually good about talking their way around and at least kind of art, you know, superficially looking smartish. Uh, but she just says the stupidest things. People, people get on Trump about saying dumb things. He doesn't say dumb things. He just says outrageous things, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, she's a you she's a great comic girl. relief. Twelve years. We all have twelve years to live on this planet. Oh yeah, it's twelve years. Yeah, yeah. They we're all dead. Everybody yeah. dead. Exactly. And she's freaking out. And then she got up on uh, some stage the other day, right? And she was talking to a, a, basically a crowd of black people uh, in general, I guess, or ethnic group. And she was like, uh, I come from, and, you know, from the mountain. And she's just doing the whole uh, black preacher type of uh, 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 sound. And, of course, she got, she got ridiculed. Of course, Hillary Clinton did the same thing. And if you go back and look at it, her words and Hillary's words are the same. So she literally plagiarized the idiot Hillary Clinton. Hilarious, man. Oh my. Wonderful fun. Wonderful fun. Hey, uh, Chester, any thoughts yeah. about Julian Assange? Assange? Not really. Not really. I don't know enough. I, 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 if it was a, you were asking me a year or so ago, I would have more information. I do know I've heard his name a couple times recently, so something's going on, uh, but I'm not really sure. But, uh, yeah, you know, he's a WikiLeaks guy, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I find it very convenient that the Ecuador was at the, the Ecuador. Ah. The Ecuador government just got a four point two billion dollar boost at the exact same day that they, he got uh, released from their uh, or was it uh, where were they keeping him in the embassy? That's what it is. So he's out and about in Ecuador now. That's the news. No, no, he's he's no, been no. arrested. Yeah, yeah, he's he's been arrested. But the exact same day that uh, the Ecuador government got a four point two billion dollar uh, boost to the uh, government. Coincidence. Right. Yeah. yeah. Those coincidences are always fun. Uh, so, uh, who arrested him? Sweden or, or someone else? Uh, the UK. The UK. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's going to go. But then again, the UK lost their damn mind. Look at the stuff they're doing. They just, I mean, if you have the wrong friend or you've talked to the wrong person, like, say, Dankula or Sargon of Cod or any of those kind of guys, if you talk to them, they and they, they will not let you in the country. That's how absolutely lost their mind and crazy Britain has gotten. They've lost it. The Magna Carta. Yeah. We're, we're very far away from that piece of document now. Yeah. Yeah, well, no, absolutely, right? Uh, but uh, now, nah, Britain always, always overreacts, though. They're always overreacting. If you go back to the, you know, the um, Iron Lady time, uh, uh, of course, uh, they were way super conservative, and you couldn't even have the Ninja Mutant Turtles be called Ninja because the ninjas are. Uh, it's got to pollute the minds of our youth. And we can't have the nunchucks on the on the on the TV because it, it pollute the minds. Well, look of what the happened. Youth. We had Ninja Turtles on TV, and now look at all these youth. That's true. <laughs> that is true. They were right. Ninja, idiots running around. Goodness, uh, Motor V says Chester YouTube was giving uh, uh, giving me an uh, entry about uh, 911 in a panel under uh, Mike Steen Q stream yesterday. Uh, is YouTube up to even further shenanigans? Well, I guess they are. You know what? That's a very interesting point. Now, of course, I know we're touching on political things just a, t a little bit here, but we're not getting too deep. We're just kind of laughing at the idiocy, right? Uh, but uh, I, as you uh, many of you guys know, I have a new show uh, that is going on on Sundays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and of course, it's called TFT Tinfoil talk oh, and uh, we, so good that is good dude and uh we talk conspiracy theories just in fun man and uh this uh coming uh the con uh, coming show this week of course is ufos which is awesome and if you want to be on that show and you want to come talk about it dude hit my links down below we'd love to have you on that show i'm gonna tell you something chester i don't, yeah. I don't want you to get offended okay but the other shows stink by comparison you got to focus your energy on that show more 
Maybe, maybe. It is a good show uh, because we have some really informed people, right, uh, that have, have knowledge to share. And, of course, if you have that knowledge, we'd like to have you share that as well. Uh, but, and of course, there's Thundero in here, the one of the best mods in the, in the business, uh, and he's on that show as well, and he's well-informed as a, a person in his, in his own right. Uh, but um, uh, anyway, uh, we were doing the um, – uh, one of the show, uh, shows we did was called Antarctica. Right. And uh, just, you know, talking about all the conspiracy theories around Antarctica. There are tons of them. Right. And what a great conversation that was. Uh, but as soon as I posted the stream and uh, we started going live, um, uh, YouTube tagged my stream. And uh, as we were live streaming, it was like instantly. Right. So it was an algorithm caught it. And it had the Wikipedia page to Antarctica that you could click directly from right below my uh, my streaming uh, uh, window here. Really? And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, of course, if you if you don't know anything about Wikipedia, I shall educate you. Uh, Wikipedia is an absolute propaganda machine, right? And that's all good. You can still have fun with it. I Wikipedia is fun, uh, but understand that is pure pop, uh, propaganda, and it's not even hidden. It's not even subtle. Uh, it, it's just right in your face with it. And of course, the whole Antarctica thing was uh, uh, doing everything in the Wikipedia page it could to debunk any concepts of any conspiracy theories whatsoever. Which you know, that's why conspiracy thing like theories have legs, guys. Stop trying to hide shit. Uh, but um, uh, anyway, uh, just to answer that question, yeah, YouTube's always up to shenanigans, guys. I mean, just from a little channel like mine, what do we got? 570 some people, and yet uh, we uh, we denote uh, action uh, that they literally have to tag my stream as we're going live. There you go. They're serious. They're on uh, to us. They everybody, are. Everybody's contemplating yeah, exactly what Booster said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I know that's okay. It's all good, uh, but um, uh, we have a lot of fun on that show. And if uh, if you have uh, Sunday nights free and uh, around eight p.m. and you want to come over and watch us that, or like I said, join us and have a speak, uh, please do. Dude. We have a great time with that show. It's a lot of fun. And uh, Hughes dr draws says Rick Piper is a UFO. All right then. <laughs> Okay, Dazzler says, I have to leave. Uh, I'll probably be back soon then. All right, well, we'll make sure that uh, Booster feels threatened. <laughs> That's awesome. What was All that? Right. Oh, man. I know oh, you're not I'm out of it, bro. Yeah, oh. More Mountain Dew for you, sir. Oh, it's brutal. I'm out of Mountain Dew. Oh, oh no. The crash. The crash. Oh, no, anyway, here it is. <laughs> Don't worry, boys. You found it, <laughs> did you? You're good to go? Yeah. All right, sweet. We were all Man. concerned for you. Yeah, we were. And uh, I, although I know you guys don't know this, I've been secretly watching Cat Draw for a while now. Jeez, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of pervy, Chester. Take it easy. Thank you. Thank you. It's getting, uh, it's getting a little disturbing. Me too, but you don't have to talk about it. I know, right? Uh, Dina Israel says, I am not cooking curry tonight, Google. Maybe that's why uh, they are <laughs> they are angry with us. Ah, they're always angry. That's kind of all they do. They're just angry people. Uh, Mortal V says, Chester, some messages were getting uh, auto-flagged in chat. Yeah, I know they are, dude. Uh, they went bad, uh, but when it comes to that, uh, did you want me to leave them alone or uh, let uh, you or Thundero decide on showing? Uh, well, thank you. That's a good question for a new wrench to actually ask dude uh now if there's anything that's really questioning in your mind you're not sure let thundero handle it uh but um other than that uh in general this is a pg-13 show all right uh so as long as it's not too super vulgar or too super bad we go ahead and let it in right um uh now that's here over on the uh fan speak side uh we're a little tighter with it but uh if you think something's really vulgar uh just go ahead and uh don't show it and then if you do me a favor uh just send a uh an at at the person who did it and just tell them you know why right uh because uh you know we're happy to have everyone comment and have what they say but uh we don't want to be too super vulgar here so that's uh that's the only thing to keep in mind but just tell them why you, you block them and uh and uh, you know, no big deal. We don't want any hard, hard feelings, right? Uh, but uh, just you know, keep it to PG thirteen, guys, and you'll be good. Uh, that's kind of where we where we sit here. Uh, but thank you for asking. What what do. Do. Well, you know, it's a it's a good question for him to ask, dude. Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, Model V likes your uh, uh, your piece today, John. He says it's very macabre. I think it's awesome. 
Oh, yeah, because they're replied. yeah, but they're not white work walkers, dude. These are just zombies. These are white walkers. Look at the snow. No, they're not. Yeah, they're they're not zombies. Snow. Rain. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those are zombies, or they might be infected. Apparently, they're different. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point by Thundero, uh, 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 mortal. Uh, just if you have any questions, just ask him. Uh, Thundero will take care of it for sure. Uh, also, yeah. we get uh, Misfit Comics in here, and if he's in here, Thundero's not, you can talk to him too. Uh, but uh, I'm sure you can handle it, dude. It's not that hard, it's kind of common sense. Uh, mm -hmm. but thank you for asking. Um, uh, Dillard the Dirt Lord, uh oh, Dina's throwing shade at you again. Uh, is it funny though? <laughs> a little bit. No, uh, sometimes. Nah, sometimes. Nah, nah. Yeah. Now, Ryan, okay. uh, we're back over here again in the rotation looking at your stuff. And just keep in mind, guys, you get about two twenty 20 minutes left, right? Yeah, and um, so we're getting down to it. I really like how you pulled this face out, though. Uh, it's really much different than it looked earlier. So it's, uh, wow, that's really good, dude. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, going kind of like more painterly, kind of messy. You know, nothing, nothing too line worky. I like it. It's very, very cool. Thank you very much. I'm just surprised how how different it looks from when it looked just 30 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, it was looking like hot trash a while ago. Well, it was. It seemed like you were going a different direction, but it ended up here. And I guess it's just putting the white on top of the dark, right? Yeah, just uh, getting all the total yeah. values in, and yeah, just having some fun with it. Yeah, cool. And of course, Thunder was laying down the law over here in the chat, and he says the main rule is never vote Dillard. Uh oh. Oh no! True, true. Yeah, and, uh, vote Boo me instead. Yeah, vote cat instead. We're we're coming <laughs> your way, cat. We're gonna be there next. Uh, now, booster, do you, have you prepared the straw poll yet? Me? Hmm? All right, fine. <laughs> oh this yeah, 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 yeah. I have a yeah, yeah. Straw polls. The vote, the vote thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the cool. vote thing. Cool. Yeah. All right then, fine. Um. Uh, anyway, guys. Um. Uh, we will be coming up here in about 19 minutes. Uh, we're going to actually have the uh, drop the straw poll. Uh, but before I do that, we'll go take a really good look at each piece of, uh, piece of art first. Uh, but uh, we really appreciate you guys uh, hanging around, checking out all this cool art, uh, listen to our banter, and then voting. Uh, I appreciate it. Because keep in mind, the winner here actually gets a real prize. They get to go over to the Pro Edition. Uh, which, of course, is a lot more people watching that is more exposure and uh, et cetera, et cetera. And you get to talk to Mike Miller. Oh, well, at least you get Mike to throw heavy things at you occasionally. Uh, so uh, awesome. It's it's OK. Yeah, it's all right. I think yeah, so. It's a living. That's so, the right to come out. Kat, we're looking at you here and. Uh, oh. We're enjoying your piece, and you said he screwed it up. So, <coughs> how are you fixing it? Oh well, uh, I'm still deciding whether or not I want to black out the whole background or not. I think you probably should. I think so. Oops. Mm. Do I have enough ink for that? I don't know. Um, I like it though. I think it's really cool. Uh, particularly, I like the horse a lot. That's a cool horse. Thank you. Yeah, that's actually what I really want to draw. <laughs> uh, I see. Hey, good, good, good. Yeah. All I have is a big sharpie. Mm. Use it. No, no, it. Use it. No, if you don't want it, you don't have to. I, I mean, yeah, uh, I think it looks fine. Yeah, I might do it. Well, you have yourself 17 minutes. Is that enough time? Oh, yeah. Should be fine. Should be fine. Wonderful final words. <laughs> Um, Crank says thick outline works fine. Yeah, I think sometimes it does. Yeah. Well, I'm already in, uh, filling it all in. So decisions made. <laughs> now, Booster, you're being really quiet. Is there a reason? See, why? Booster, this is how you make decisions like a man. Like a man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm a I'm a tired boy. I, Dude, I you just got eight sleep. hours of sleep. What are you talking about? You probably had nine just hours. Of sleep. I only had seven hours of sleep, so I'm a really <laughs> sleepy guy. Oh God! The, what does the world come to? A grown man complaining about seven hours of sleep. <sighs> hey, we got Pope Fire in here, and uh, she says, "Cool, awesome, hooray!" <laughs> No, you are joking, right? I mean, you, 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 you did get uh, seven hours of sleep, and that's fine, right? 
Yes. <laughs> oh no! Of course, I'm joking. What kind of man, baby, wouldn't be okay with seven hours of torturous sleep? Torturous sleep. Uh oh, that sounds like psychological. <coughs> what is the average sleep here for everybody? What about you, Ryan? How much sleep you get a day on on average? Uh, about four or five. Yeah, cat. Uh, maybe six, six and a half. Six, six. So you see that? Six booster. Uh, George, yeah, you're an old guy. You probably sleep hardly at all. Three, four. Five. Yeah, see. Uh, how, how about you? Uh, um, let's see. That's Garrett. How about you, Garrett? How many hours is a day on average? Yeah, probably about seven. Oh, wow. So you're a young guy. Like booster. Okay. Yeah, just I'm, a, I'm well rested. In my, in my defense, Chester. Uh-huh. I do not enjoy existence, and every time I get to return to the void is uh, is sweet for me. Ah, oh, goodness gracious! Depression in the millennial return age. me to the void. Oh, there he goes again. Uh, how about you, uh, Eric? Uh, you get uh, an average hour. You got about four or five. Oh my yeah. God! What's wrong with you, dickheads? Uh, you guys you know, are really bad. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Yeah. How about you, John? <laughs> I get seven, but like it ain't broken up into two two parts. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, my God. Well, actually, I've been getting a good, consistent five to six recently, and I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, but, um, uh, yeah, that's kind of the average for an adult booster. You can't even ever treat you don't boost you. That's, that's <laughs> you, Chester. That's what you sound <laughs> like. You know, you know, yeah. 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 Well, see the thing. Uh, the other thing about adulting, uh, uh, booster. Uh, we also, we also we don't. Also do some you know. of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, booster. The amount of time that you sleep it actually works well for somebody that um, you know that works. You and doesn't know, have any, any side you projects have any going on. <laughs> if you don't have any side projects, I mean, you can get seven hours of sleep and be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> It's this. It's this ambitious garbage. Mm -hmm. If I get to the point where I'm just like getting up and drawing, I'll be I'll be sleeping like ten hours a day. That'd be great if I got paid enough money. Oh wow! Yeah. Well, actually, I can't sleep like seven, eight hours. I mean, if I do, my body feels incredibly sore. I I just can't sleep that kind of that kind of time. Yeah, it feels like somebody kicked you in the back. Yeah, dude, it feels awful. And, of course, I sleep on the floor, too. That probably has something to do with it. Uh, but, um, you know, uh, yeah, I can't uh, do no eight hours. Jeez. Unless I'm hungover, and I could sleep forever. Oh, well, that's different. You know. That's that's proper rest. Yeah. Booster is devolving, goes to Henry thinks. I agree, dude. A little bit of tomato handling, and look what it does to him. This is this is how tough my job is, boy. This is what ha dealing with tomatoes all day does to you. <laughs> I think our tomatoes might be toxic. They might be. They might be. Uh, curious two ways. Quit that oh. job, dude. You're gonna die young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yep. I then I don't know, man. It's just the world needs tomato ways. They do. Well, of course we do. Um, and uh, uh, Curious 2A says, old people only see four hours, but it's three times a day. No, dude. Actually, the older you get, the less you sleep it tends to be. <laughs> Boosters, uh, uh, keep drinking all that Mountain Dew, Booster. You'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, sleeping on the floor is good for your back, actually. Uh, you just got to have something uh, for the lumbar. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I sleep on a futon, and uh, no problem. I've been doing it two decades, and I have no back trouble whatsoever. Uh, it's just you can't stay on that kind of hard surface for, you know, eight hours. Goodness gracious, dude. No, that's not good. Especially when you're someone like me. I mean, I'm a, I'm a 6'3 and uh, like 220 pounds, right? That's not, uh, you don't want that frame laying on a hard floor like that for that long. It's not good. And it should be easy for you, Booster. I mean, you're what, 5'2? Hmm? <laughs> Just at least 5'3. Come on. That's true. That's true. No, seriously, how old, how tall are you? I mean, you're kind of like average height, right? You're like five seven or something like that, right? I'm five seven. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's like world average, yeah. so you know. I'm a wee lad. Wee lad. So five seven and three hundred fifty pounds. Mm hmm. Um. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I mean, you know, I'm telling you my weight, you dirty old man. What do you mean, dude? You're not a girl. No, oh, I'm Booster, a sure. How heavy are you? Tell me now. <laughs> I'm Ryan. Stop it, silly. Oh, God. <laughs> no. Oh, God. <laughs> People are dirty. <laughs> Ghost of Henry says, Cat, you have to paint inside the, cha the chain links. You're triggering my OCD. Please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, right, guys, we got about 10 minutes left. So uh, if you got anything to finish up, do. Of course, I know George is. Uh, we're showing your art, by the way, right now, George. But we know you've been done for an hour. Uh, so, uh, you know. You just want pencils today. You didn't ink it up, as you usually do. Something different. Maybe George is busy in the background. Oh, yeah, George drew a nice drawing of uh, Starfire from the new Titan show. Oh, that's right. It is, isn't it? You know, actually, what I checked out last night was that new sh Netflix show, Legacies. And uh, it's got some cool special effects in it. And if they just cut out about that 30%, 40% of uh, crazy teen drama SJW crap, actually, it would be a really good show. Um, I don't mind them making teen shows. It's fine. But I wish they'd make a little bit more adult shows. You know, everything is this teen drama, you know. Anybody check out that Legacy, that Supernatural show from Netflix? It's definitely a, a girl's show. It's 100% for teenage girls, but I looked at it a little bit. The CG actually exists. Some really good special effects, actually. Uh, no, no, I didn't check that out. I've never even heard of that. How do you yeah, hear it just about the show out, like, yesterday? Huh? What show are you on about? Legacies. It just came out yesterday. It's not a good show. Like I said, it's for teenage girls. It's absolutely not a good show. Uh, but the special effects in it, when they have a monster on, it's actually really good. They do a really good job. Practical effects, too, sometimes. So oh, it's one of those weird things. It's a CW show. That explains a lot. Something like that. Well, I don't know if it's C. Yeah, I mean, I guess it is CW. Yeah, it's it definitely is. one of every color. No, uh, I literally girls are in just the uh, Googled it. It is CW. Well, there you go. Uh, I saw and, it on Netflix. Yeah, because CW is rubbish. It is rubbish, yeah. Uh, but I'm just saying, they put some money behind it, is my point. Because the special effects of the monsters in it are really well done, actually. Um, and uh, like I said, if they cut about 30 or 40% of that nonsense out, yeah, I think it would be a pretty good show. Mm -hmm. Josh says, uh, Josh the Pope Crow says, no one knows what you're talking about, Chester. Well, dude, it just came out yesterday. <laughs> the hell? No, I think season two came out yesterday, so. I don't know about that. I just noticed it on the Netflix, and we checked it out, and my wife, like, fell asleep. So that tells you all everything you need to know. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just, it's a stupid 12-year-old, uh, uh, yay, girl, SJW show is what it is. But nah. uh, I just was surprised because usually those shows, like, you know, the CW stuff, usually their uh, their special effects are pretty horrible, right? Uh, but yeah. this one was solid, dude, really solid. Oh no, I think it's connected to the Vampire Diaries. Oh, oh that would no. explain a lot, actually. Oh, I gotta watch it now. <laughs> Josh the Pope Crow says no one cares, Chester. Fine, Josh. Damn, Josh is like reading my mind over here. Mm -hmm. I know, yeah. I know this alias says, you know nothing, Chester show. All right, it's pick on <laughs> Chester time, fine. Uh, and John says, it's definitely not good, except, yeah, no, it's not good. It's, I don't suggest, I don't recommend it. It's a, it, it's, and it's not for us anyways, for literally 12 year old girls to Everything reinforce their egos. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. The boys are all yeah, weak like and pathetic thing. and the girls are the cheaper awesome. Uh, I did, you know, there is one interesting thing about this show, the lead female, I don't know who the actress is, but she is so heavy, uh, top heavy. Uh, it actually to the point that I, it's like, ooh, that must suck. I mean, because you don't see girls on the TV that are that uh, what's large. What's still called again? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, now like, you have my interest. Yeah. Well, no, dude. I, I mean, she's yeah. extremely large chested to a point where you, it's, I'm sure, troublesome for her, right? And which one is this? It's one of the lead girls. <laughs> Busty McGraw. It's just you don't see it very often because at first I was like, this is a weird shaped body girl. Uh, but then they what they just had a drape clothing draped on, and then later they kind of gave up on that. And you just saw, oh, okay, she's just a little short Latino girl. What? Her her to the <laughs> what? <laughs> what, Booster? 
name. Which actress is it, Chester? I have no clue what her name, name is, is, dude. All I right. know they call her. Chester yeah. McGood and Sexy. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I'm trying to make a point that I felt bad for. Okay, well, the rest of the country, uh, we honor her service. Okay. To her and her lower back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I was thinking about. Um, <laughs> uh, watch some Swedish police shows. They're quite grown up. <laughs> I'm going to do it, but just left, left this completely white just to bother everyone. <laughs> All right, there you go. You do that. Um, and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, McCrank says, uh, Chester, be honest about your guilty pleasures. Uh, don't need to explain it away. My guilty pleasure would be called back Buckaroo Banzai, actually. Nice. Uh, uh, Brian Hawkins says, yeah, it's another Vampire Diaries spinoff. I guess I don't really know. My, I, I think I did watch an episode or two of that Vampire Diaries, but it was bad. Uh, Mortal V says, is there anyone hot and legal? I think they're probably all legal, I guess. Uh, oh, uh, Lal Booster going to start saying, uh, "Where, where's the detonator? Where is it? Uh, okay. Where are they?" <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, we forgot all about that bullet. Ah, oh, damn it! Uh, has anybody been drawing along? I should have mentioned that at the very beginning of the show. Uh, if you are drawing along, um, I've been uh, drawing along. I know you have. Uh, I should. I gotta remember to mention that Booster wasn't on time. It's his fault. That's what it is. Uh, Buckaroo Banza is a masterpiece, Ghost from Henry. Uh, but if you have been drawing along with us, uh, doing White Walkers, just send us to hashtag DNQFE. Hashtag oh, yeah. DNQFE. Well, and Booster will go and collect those things and show them to if you have. But it's my fault. I forgot to mention. I got to remember that because that's a lot of fun. Um, nevertheless, guys, we have four minutes. Four minutes and we're done. No, oh, brutal. You know. Let's see if anyone's actually. Oh, people actually are doing it. Like one guy, but still, he's doing. They're doing it. <laughs> guy's doing big things over here. Two yeah. people. Ah, 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 ah. 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 Two. Wow, Sesame Street is still going on, huh? I thought Trump yeah. killed it. Yeah. Oh, you gotta Trump. watch a good one. It's called Plaza Sesamo. It's the Mexican <laughs> Sesame Street. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> Plaza Sesamo. Oh, yeah, I'm totally is that, that just up. simply Sesame Street in Spanish? Oh, absolutely not. It's filmed in Spanish, so the words match up with the lips and everything. And there's even like a big furry Muppet that looks exactly like an old Mexican, like angry <laughs> dude. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that sounds I'm, amazing. I'm checking Great. it out. It, it, what's it called? Plaza de uh, Plaza Sesamo. Plaza de de show. <laughs> It is actually Sesame Street with some characters slightly different. <laughs> Interesting, dude. Oh, yeah, that is fantastic. weird. Who is this fantastic odd? Show. Who is this odd Big Bird? It's like this. They have Big Bird. And He's then like, they a have another, like a parrot. Is that like a parrot? Lada sesamo. Sesamo. Oh, that's terrifying. You know, the interesting thing is that the, the Mexicans actually went and made their own version of Sesame Street, which is cool. Uh, but over here in Japan, they just have dubbed uh, Sesame Street. Yeah, they're super lazy over there. Oh, yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's uh, what everyone says about the Japanese. Universally, no. Japanese sleeping under cactuses, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Eric says they count tostados. So, tostadas. <laughs> they say torta y pa mama. <laughs> uh, Barrio. Mm. Uh, Jeremy Joshua says, Chester, you need to tell everyone what a hashtag, what to hashtag their post for the drawing long. Well, I did. Uh, it is uh, uh, for Twitter, of course. It is hashtag DNQFE. Hashtag DNQFE. Yeah, kind of forgot. Are we out of time already? Can we stop? Or what's going on? Oh, we got two minutes, yeah. But uh, basically, we're done. Jeez. I think everyone's pretty much done. But you know me, I'm sticking to the rules. Thank you. And uh, yeah, a few of these guys did uh, actually uh, uh, draw along, so we're going to show that uh, after. Um, wow, here goes Eric is continuing the Chuck Norris jokes. Fidel Castro once lost a vote to Cat, and Cat wasn't even running. <laughs> and anonymous alias says, my Spanish name is Jorge. <laughs> Spelled whore. I see. 
Jorge. Jorge. Oh, goodness. Everyone enjoys the Mexican -y. I like we are, we are the original people, Chester. Are you? Yeah, no, I've, uh, no. I've heard people the original say that. people, Ming. I don't Mang. know how you guys come up with that, but uh, you yeah, know, good on you. Mang. But you know, once again, the food's good. The food's good. I don't know about the cerveza. I don't care for it very much. Tequila's good though. There's no accounting for taste around here, I guess. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Uh, we are finished. So five, four, three, three, four, two, one, one, and we are. It finished. was. It to stop now. Yes, to stop now. Pencils down, see, erasers bro. down, everything down. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to run through, and then we're going to look at everybody's art, and then uh, Booster is going to post that uh, straw poll after, uh, and then we'll also take a look at that uh, hashtag. So uh, you're going to have to get both of those things uh, ready, Booster. You're a busy boy. You ready? Uh, wait, which one am I doing first? You, well, we're going to wait. I'm going to tell you when to put the straw poll up, and then you're going to show the uh, the uh, right. draw along stuff. All right, cool. All right, everybody. This is Ryan's speech. Ryan, you want to back that right up so we can see the whole thing? Let's see how's that? Oh, so this is so you took the other character out. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, okay, I just okay. blasted him out of there. Oh, I see. That's, that's too bad. He was lost from existence. Uh, but I do like this piece, man. It's really cool. You went and lightened it, and then you darkened it again. It's yeah. interesting. Layers, man. Layers. Like onions. Um, yeah. It is cool, though. This is <laughs> like definitely a white <laughs> <laughs> this is a Shrek joke. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, everybody, this is Ryan's piece. So if you like this one, you got to definitely vote for this one. We're going to see who we're going to send over the Pro Edition next week, right? Oh, is he flying on the dragon? He might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's do that. Yeah, that's what it looks like, yeah. That's what it looks like, yeah. Cool. That it is cool. Sweet. <clears throat> so uh, moving down here, of course, we have Cat. Uh, this is Cat's piece. And I think it turned out really well doing it all black cat. I think that worked well. Uh, that horse is awesome. Uh, so everybody, this is Cat's piece here, and she's uh, got her white walker. And can you uh, turn this like gang of glare, Cat? Like all that black mm -hmm. on there. Can, can you put it straight? Is that better? Fix it, Cat. You ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it looks good though. Looks good. All right, guys, uh, move down the row here. We're going over to George. This is George's piece. And uh, George, are you there? You got your mic working? You got to turn it off for me, George. George. I'm right here. I'm right here. All right. right here. Well, George, we're taking a look at your piece here. And we got this uh this sexy uh uh the uh Starfire from uh Titans has been confirmed by uh, uh John Dillard. Uh and uh she has the head of some kind of a wood nymph of some kind on a, on a on a on a spit. It, it, it's it's the king. It's uh yeah. it's Shenron it's cool. from Dragon Ball Z. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, it is cool. Really good right. face on that uh White Walker actually. Uh, really nice detail. Cool. All right. Well, everybody, that's George. If you like this one, you got to vote for that. Uh, let me keep moving down here. We're going to come over to Garrett. Uh, Garrett is our new face today. Very uh, happy to have you here, Garrett. That is a killer piece, dude. I it's really it. like yours today. That's awesome. It is awesome. That's oh, beautiful. Yeah, sweet. That's yeah. Super dope. Yeah. All right. So if you guys want to uh, support Garrett here and send him over to the Pro Edition, uh, please do, because that is killer. Uh, and of course, I know I'm getting, I can feel the protest coming from John Dillard, but I do apologize, John. There are other people here. Uh, mm -hmm. And of course, uh, moving down the line, we got Eric Hawkins' piece, and uh, that is another killer one, too. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, it turned out really nice. And uh, uh, I'm assuming all those white dots are snow, right? Snow, yes. Yes. It's the, it's the Frank Miller effect you get going on here. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but it is a good looking piece, though. That's a lot of fun. I love the detail in the face, man. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and it definitely looks like a spear. Don't you listen to that Dazzler girl? All right. And, and then, of <laughs> I course, I should have made it a broom. You should have made it a broom. That would have been funnier. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, white sweeper. Yeah, white sweeper. And then, of course, we'll come over here to John Dillard, who has his absolutely killer uh, white walkers with the uh, dragon in the back. Ooh, very nice. The clear, the clear winner, the superior winner. Vote, vote, John Dillard. What an amateur! Oh goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Is Malin in here? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So once again, we got Ryan. I think it's Pixel. I don't know. We got Cat. We have George. We have Garrett. We have Eric, and of course, we also have 
John Dillard. Uh, so uh, do me a favor, Booster, and drop that straw poll link, please, so everybody can see it. Oh, and uh, everybody get in your vote, please. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay. He's uh -oh. he's not listening to he's not taking uh, orders very well. I, <laughs> one sick, Chester. How, how are you gonna, sick? How do we go? I said one sick. I'm not saying I'm sick. Okay, I found it. Don't worry. Don't freak out. All right. Don't freak out. He goes from talking about Mountain Dew to just, uh, being sick. See the excuses I gotta deal with. Oh my oh my god, I didn't say anything about he's sick. Oh my god. What are you doing? Rubbing tomatoes on yourself or something? Somebody's got to do it. Just I um, told you that in confidence. <laughs> I do apologize. You know. All right, guys. There's that link right there. Just click on that, and I'm going to do it myself. And uh, uh, I might actually vote today. Who should I vote for? Let me see. I would okay. vote for Sexy Hands Cat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a really good piece. Yeah. They're all really solid, actually. Yes. Um, I'm going to um, vote for Manly Hands Cat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's two entries. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, I did my voting, and uh, there they go. And uh, did, did you vote for me, Chester? Uh, maybe. I'm not saying you got. You do got to remember, though, this being a you know a staple of comics game. We are voting on merit. You know, we are. You got to remember no, that, that. You know, that is true. This is I, I sure hope we see seventy votes today. Oh, yeah. Now, now keep in mind, we don't mind that uh, fun over here on this side, but uh, uh, let's not make Mike Miller angry again and uh, go over and uh, and uh, uh, you know, sock puppet uh, votes into the uh, uh, pros edition because he doesn't like it very much. I don't think no, he, got he it, does. Not. He came in here and he he hit me. He did. He was very <laughs> upset. Well, yeah, who, he, hit you? He, who hit you, Booster? Tell me. I'll get him. Show him where the bad man touched you. Do it. <laughs> He touched my hiney. <laughs> I'm the only one that's allowed to do that. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. This is like John Wick or is it Jorge Wick? Jorge Wick. Oh. Uh, we got 28 votes in here. Of course, there's 40 people out there. Uh, so we'd love to see all you guys come in here and vote. Just hit that link. It's really easy. It's free. You don't have to download anything. Just hit it. Vote. Good to go. Right, uh, but uh, well, this is going back and forth here, and of course uh, today we had some really good pieces. So uh, as we usually do over in the fan edition, uh, there's uh, it's not easy to make a decision actually. Uh, on the pro side, uh, well that that is true sometimes, and uh, sometimes it's not. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, definitely get in there and vote, guys. We got 30 of you voted right now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, Thundaro has just spammed the chat with uh, the vote, so you cannot miss it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Now, while they're voting, though, Booster, I would love to take a look at those uh, submissions uh, uh, for the uh, uh, the hashtag D and Q. Yeah, I want to oh, see. Oh yeah, that. sure. Yeah, All right, this is I'm, a little I'm weird. I've only screen now, box. so I've got a. Uh, this is a little weird. There we go. All right, we go. Oh, there we go, ah. Cascading. Oh, that's sorry. That's... I have a few. I have a few tabs open. I just gotta. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I gotta <laughs> sexy boobs. Um, he actually yeah. went searching for sexy there boobs. Are. There we are. Oh, uh, there sorry, all right. I got the um, oh, now I'm watching that. Anyway, <laughs> hey, boy, what? what the hmm? Uh, we all know <laughs> booster. It's okay, booster. You can be you can be free in your own expression. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's take a look here. Uh, we got this from Jay Ryan. Uh, could you do me a favor and go up and uh, blow this page up to about one fifty, one sixty, please? Oh, or do like that. That's fine. Uh, this is about now. I can't see the name. See, see, it's, it's, it's Jay Ryan. Well, you just yeah. go remember it then. All right, yeah. fine. Jay Ryan. That's a cool piece, though. Uh, Jay, I like it. Now, of course, Jay Ryan is your name here. What's your name over in the chat, though? Oh, who is it? It's who is bullet. Ryan? It's probably his bullet. Yeah, he said he did a head sketch. <laughs> um, but um, I like it though. It is oh, really wait, good. Bold, bold sketch. I think so. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. All right. What else? Super good. Got a JCM. JCM. And of course, bullet. If you can draw like that, why aren't you on the show, dude? Get here, bullet. You, you dingus, you. Yeah. Um. Uh, this is a this is a really light sketch, uh, but it's really yeah. cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Very much uh, one of the uh, one of the leader types. Yep, I think that is like the king guy or something. I don't I don't actually watch that show. It's it's a little boring when there's no sex or violence. Oh god, I'm talking about political espionage and it's just Ooh, it's look at that one. Now. I think I this believe is, this is uh, JCM again. Yeah, this is from yesterday, I think. Um, but uh, there's Daenerys with the dragon and the eggs. That's cool. That's there. cheating, then. 
Why? There's not a lot to show what he already did for this the prohibition. Any stands? How is that dragon full grown and the eggs are still in there? I yeah yeah okay. This, this is from before. <laughs> this is from before. This is all, all right. before. This guy. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, but he uh, posted it to our hashtag just a few minutes ago. So there you go. Yeah, yeah it looks like a white walker. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, what's the name? Oh, what's the name? This is a Scotch Schmier. Oh, there you go, Scott. All right, cool. Thank you for putting that in. Shemaya? How do you say your last name? Shemaya. I don't like his last name. (laughs) There you go. You're unliked. Uh, I love this. This is cool. This is uh, this guy. It's very cartoony. This this is actually total rabbit fox. Uh, Look, he got booster speed. Look at that. He does, yeah. <laughs> um, and actually, it's we saw last true. week uh, Turtle, uh, Turtle, Turtle Rabbit Fox uh, did something, too. He's got this really nice yeah. kind of cartoony, almost like the old uh, animated Hobbit or Wizards mm-hmm. or uh, Fire and Ice. It's almost got that feel to it. It's kind of cool. I love, I love this art style. This is good yeah, stuff. Yeah. I think yeah. he, has a, he has another one here. Was Ooh, this for his the other day? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like this comedic style he's got. Derp. Yeah, I like this. Derp. This is cool, dude. This is good, good stuff. And yeah, uh, once again, Turtle Rabbit Fox, why aren't you on the show, man? Yeah, get get over here. I want I want you. This ballad stuff. Chester, uh, stop calling people out. Yeah. Okay, we probably need a different hashtag. It was good at first, but now everything else is getting clumped into it. Or is there like a m- way to order it by most recent? I don't know how to use Twitter. You're I asking hate... me? I have oh, no idea. Number one. Ah, oh, here yeah. we go. He's he's uh thickening up the lines a little. Yeah, definitely. That's cool. Oh. I like the actually. I like the overextended arms. That actually works. Well. That's a nice. Yeah, now he looks like uh, now he looks like Dina too. Oh, no. oh come on now, <laughs> come on. <laughs> no, no. Hey, no, no, Dads no. are voted. You are awesome. Uh, Dina Israel says you're a blue eye white dragon. Uh, hashtag uh, or at anonymous alias and uh, boobs. Yes, that's right, Dina. And uh, uh, do ignore John. He's not. He's 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 not being uh. mean or rude to you at all. Hey, we had just in time. I was about to close the thing, but here is a uh, who is this? A tol a tol fur. Tol fur. Ooh, that's that good. is nice. That's mm-hmm. cool. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's that way is better cool. than cats. Oh, whoa! <laughs> shots fired. Hey, hey now! <laughs> oh my god! Who said that? A John. <laughs> oh, John. of course, of that course. <laughs> All right, uh, we have 42 votes over here, so I think I'm going to call it here. No, I'll give it one more minute. If you haven't voted yet, definitely get over and hit that link that's sitting in the chat and uh, make your voice heard. Wait, let me uh, but, vote. Uh, we do have 42, and it seems like we have a winner, so that should be interesting. Um, uh, it actually went a different direction. It started out one way and then went the other, so that's kind of cool. And uh, everybody got at least one vote. Vote, isn't that awesome? Now everyone, everyone's a winner here. Everybody, except John. <laughs> All right. And I'm calling it. All right, here we go. Uh, we got 42 votes in here, which is plenty enough. We got everybody, pretty much everyone watching. So thank you all very much. Uh, so I'm going to come over here and we're going to go through these from the bottom to the top. But as they've already said, everybody's a winner. Uh, and of course, especially when you're on Sesimo, everyone is a winner on Sesimo. Mm hmm. Uh, but uh, in last place, with one vote and only two percent of the vote, we have Eric Hawkins. Uh, <laughs> is the first loser. The first loser, uh, yeah. which is a bit surprising to me because your piece is actually really good. Uh, so let me come over here and uh, stop uh, sharing with uh, the booster since he's done with that, and uh, come over here, Eric Hawkins. Uh, of course, this is his piece, really cool piece. All right, uh, and then uh, oh, fix that. Uh, and then let's come over here, and uh, in second place, uh, we have Ryan. I think his last name is Cardinal. Mm-hmm. Uh, 5% of the vote, two votes uh, coming up into that, uh, what do we got? One, two, three, four, fifth position, fifth position. So actually, Eric, you're sixth position, not last, sixth position. Oh, okay. All right. There you go. And of course, this is uh, Ryan Cardinal's a really cool piece, too. Uh, then we come over here and, uh, in, uh, the fourth place, uh, just out of the medals with seven votes, 20% or 17% of the vote. We have George Peter Gatsis is being George. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Mm-hmm. All right. And, uh, let me uh, go ahead and show you that one off George's. All right. 
Uh, and then, of course, in third place, silver medal, 21% of the vote, nine votes, and tied, actually. So this would be a silver medal, not bronze. So we got two silver medalists today, which means that George is the bronze medal. Congratulations, Yay. George. Claps for George. Claps. Claps. Claps for George. All right. George got a medal. Uh, we have two silver medalists, both with nine votes. Uh, we have uh, John Dillard loses again, and Garrett might win, I think. Uh, yeah, actually, I thought that uh, Garrett piece was really, really good. Uh, but uh, both of you guys, silver medal. So congratulations to you. Congratulations. Claps. Claps, everybody. Yay. All right. Claps. Yay. Yay. And uh, let me come over and show those real quick. Uh, so we have uh, George's, of course. We have Garrett's. And then, we, of course, we have John Dillard. Really good stuff today. But, of course, there can only be one winner. And Sexy Hands definitely definitely helping the vote. So Sexy yep. Hands Cat, 33% of the vote, 14 votes, gold medal, first place, going to the Pro Edition. Awesome. Jeez. Congratulations, uh -oh. Cat. <laughs> Thank you. Clap for you. Clap for you. Clap for you. Uh, all right. Uh, well, guys, thank you very much. That was a lot of fun. And uh, Kat, you know, when you go over there to the Pro Edition next week, uh, definitely give them what for. Do not let them intimidate you. Uh, now, oh, have I you will. been over there before? Have you been I've to the been Pro Edition? I've been over there once, like a okay. month or two ago. Yeah. Right. But uh, this time, uh, I, I don't remember offhand, but I can simply give you advice in saying talk more. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll so, try. <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, then I'll also, also bring your really cool art. Uh, I'm sure they'll have fun with you over there and uh, and enjoy yourself. Uh, but nevertheless, guys, uh, we've definitely come to the end of the show. Thank you very much for sticking around with us for two and a half hours. Wow. Uh, these uh, The fact that we have so many people stay for so long is impressive to me. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through each person and I am going to uh, let them... Uh, uh, let me get that off. I'm going to let them uh, uh, give their uh, uh, contact details or talk about any of their projects they may have going on or what have you. Uh, so let me come over here and start with uh, Ryan Cardinal. Uh, so Ryan, uh, why don't you give your links and uh, whatever you'd like to mention. Go ahead. Hey, everybody. I'm Ryan Cardinal. I go by the Ryan Cardinal on all my social media. So uh, you can find me absolutely everywhere with that handle. And I have a comic book project coming up, launching on May 7th on Indiegogo called Caius, A Story of Blood and Stone. Sweet, nice, tight, concise. And by the way, dude, when you get ready to launch that, uh, give me a uh, give me a holler on my Twitter, and I'll bring you on the show, and you can uh, you can show it to everybody. All right. All right. Awesome. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, over here we have a uh, uh, great job from Dina Dazzler. Dazzler said I voted cat. Anonymous Ailey says I'm allergic to cat, but congrats. <laughs> Yeah, uh, McCring says desert bless cat. That's why she won. Yeah, yeah. You gotta blame someone. Uh, all right, uh, cat, uh, give give out your links now. You are actually working our projects, so you need links. Um, well, you can find me on Twitter. I actually just switched my Twitter name, so you can find me on Twitter at Wildcat Inc. Wildcat. It changes again. Yeah. <laughs> are you trying to tell me something, cat? <laughs> oh, she's wild. Uh, well, just my other name. It was a. French where it had French words and so nobody I had to write it down all the time so I just switched yeah it's true no one cares about them damn French shit <laughs> French. yeah all right uh, but anyway Kat now you are involved in a public project that's going on right now why don't you go ahead and uh, uh, and shout it out uh, yeah you guys can go ahead go to Indiegogo and check out Tales from Beyond the Gate please back us um, it's going to be a super fun project so <clears throat> it's true do it it's true uh, Dina is accusing me. She says, you're a married man, Chester. But so? Be nice, Dina. All right. Uh, moving down here. Uh, George. Be cool, Dina. God. <laughs> George. Yes, right here. Yeah. Right well, here. Right. Your Where turn to give your spiel, dude. It's your shill uh, time. Okay. Uh, go to georgepetergatsis.com. Everything's there. Thank you for another great night. You all are amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, George. Well, thank you. All right. Uh, now, Garrett, of course, is a new face with us today. I hope you come back, Garrett. We want to see more of you, dude. This is a killer piece you had today, dude. Uh, so yeah, feel totally. free to come back and join us, seriously. Uh, but uh, go ahead and tell the people uh, where they can catch you, man. Yeah, sure. Uh, guys, thanks for having me tonight. Um, I don't have any projects going on right now. Mostly I post my work to Instagram. It's just Garrett Hammond. Mm -hmm. But I am trying to start up a Twitch channel, 
and do some live streams while I draw. And uh, my handle there is the scrawler. The scrawler. That's an the interesting scrawler. name. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys. Uh, that's Garrett. Uh, let's move down here to Eric Hawkins himself, man. Uh, hey, how's it going? It's going awesome, dude. Well, you can find me on uh, Twitter at es underscore Hawkins, uh, Instagram e Hawkins nineteen seventy one. Uh, I do have a Kickstarter going on right now. Uh, just search Eric Hawkins and you'll find that. That is the zombie film world of Oz, a steampunk zombie horror fantasy, which is ninety five percent funded now, I believe. Oh, sweet. And uh, keep in mind tomorrow, guys, that uh, Eric is going to be on the fan speak, uh, the actual weekly show fan speak. And uh, we're going to be talking about his Indiegogo in depth. Uh, so don't miss that. Come on uh, tomorrow and check that out. And of course, if any of you guys, uh, like I said with uh, Ryan, if you want to come on and uh, promote your project on our show, we're happy to have you. Uh, we cover a lot of the Indiegogo stuff and uh, we're, it's always a, a good time to look at a new project. So uh, looking forward to talking to you again tomorrow, Eric. Yeah, me too. It's going to be fun. I think so. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, let us not forget John Dillard. He's being uh, very spicy and salty in the chat because he do believe he does believe he's been robbed. Uh, but never lend, uh, never uh, the last John. Uh, go ahead, uh, give your link, sir. Yeah, please, please, uh, please sub to Dillard Draws. That is my YouTube channel, and that is where you can find content by the uh, superior artist John Dillard, the baddest man in all the land, father of ravens, and uh, champion of all competitions even though occasionally I do get robbed by manly, manly hands. Oh. Please go check out <laughs> Tales from Beyond the Gate, live now on Indiegogo. We got about five days left to fund, and uh, I hope to see you all there. Absolutely, Thanks. man. Awesome. And then, uh, <clears throat> okay, that's about, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Booster, hmm? would you like to say something to the peoples? <laughs> I mean, you can sub to my channel if you want, but I've got no content. But I, I am five subs away from 100. Which is a, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I don't have a tool. But I kind of I killed it like old yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you yeah, killed guys, it again? Again, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, do keep in mind, though, that uh, Booster is on that... that uh, a uh, quintessential quixotic quest to find one million subs before yeah. he puts a single drop of content upon his page. Help him. <laughs> help him with this endeavor. Make him successful. Yeah. Because Scott Schmier is now on my list. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> and, and my list, I mean the list of people that I'm going to be kowtowing to to get them to sub to my channel and begging. <laughs> yeah, making, 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 yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Um, uh, we definitely have uh, links down in the sub, Scott. Uh, we have uh, uh, links to myself, and you get in touch with me if you want to get in touch with any of these guys. You guys can contact me, or you can use the subs that they're uh, uh, the links that they're driving dropping here in the chat. So, uh, appreciate all that. Uh, appreciate you guys. You're awesome. Thank you for coming here. Uh, good luck to you, Cat. Next week, have fun, enjoy yourself, and do not let Mike Miller push you around. If he gives you a hard time, you tell me, I'll deal with it. <laughs> Thanks, All Jester. Right. Uh, no problem. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, thank you very much. And we will see you, of course, uh, tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Fan Speak. Later, guys. Okay, bye. 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 bye.